How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing Live here. Here with um, Scorsese from the Boxing Voice Post. Um, Carl Frampton, Carl, um, Carl Frampton, and Scott Quigg. Um, Scott, um, Carl Frampton won by a split decision. Um, Scorsese, what's your take, bro? Um, first off, I gotta talk about the Levi Martinez. If y'all remember him, that's um, that's the Canelo Lara judge, the one seventeen one eleven judge, and uh, he did it again tonight. He didn't do it as bad, but um, I had to say Carl Frampton won the fight because early in the fight, Quig do what he normally do. I think we give him too much credit on his stamina. I think what the dude does is he don't fight early in the rounds, and then he's always there late. But he's preserving himself. But while he was preserving himself, he was getting out jabbed. He was getting walked backwards. He was not throwing punches. So I think I tied round one, and maybe after that, like, Quig had about uh, he had about five or six straight rounds on my card. Mm -hmm. uh, Four was maybe the closest round. Yeah, I, I gave Quig every round from two to seven. And then the twelfth round, I gave Quig eight through eleven. And and he, he turned it up, but like I thought when he turned it up, he was gonna find that um Frampton was not a uh he wasn't no baby in that. But at the end of the day, I did think he turned it up and won those four rounds. But Frampton did wither more than I thought he would. Uh, I think the seventh round is when he tried to turn it on, and, and he showed Frampton showed him it ain't gonna be that easy. But then he made it kind of look easy through the twelfth, through eight through eleven. So Quig is still a valuable scalp if somebody beats him. But uh, I think I think Frampton stock kind of dropped a little bit how he fought late. I just believe that. I, th I think you know what I think. I think Quig, Quig, Quig. I don't know what the, his game plan was, man. Because from round ten, to me, he really only started rap fighting from round ten. I don't know how how, how the rest of you see. He what he was waiting on, and their game plan was to count up Carl Frampton because his hands are low, and to count him and knock him out. And that was the wrong game plan. When really, when round ten, he just went for it. He was hitting some really good body shots, and he made a fight of it from round ten. If he started that early, it would have been a better fight. Um, who else jumped? In? Anyone else jumped in? Wild yeah, one, blood. Yeah, now what are you saying now? Give us your take, man. What's your saying? What do you see it? Natty. You muted. He's muted. Now nah, you muted. There you go. I, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I had Quick winning the fight, but the reason he didn't win is his own fault, man. Those really? those for, oh, those first six oh, rounds oh, and so. Hold on, oh, Natty. What? One second. You had Quick winning in the fight. You had Quick winning the fight. You had him winning the fight. Yes. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. And I, I'll give you my scorecard right now before I continue. And when y'all when y'all disagree with what I'm saying, please tell me what was really being done by Frampton by either fighter in the in the first I say six rounds that really made anything dominant. Like. This was the first time I've scored a fight that I was forced, literally forced, to score an even round. That first round had to be 10-10. Nobody landed anything. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Nothing. Yeah, that, Zero. I, I agree with that. But from that point on. Right. Right. So, quick, um, the round two, I gave it to Frampton. Three and four, I edged to quick. Right. But they they were barely winning these rounds. There was no decisive um, victories in these rounds, right? There was there was not a decisive victory until Quick started winning rounds. Well, you what know what I'm saying? What, what round did you Quick start? What round? When you, Quick when what Quick started winning really decisive rounds is round seven. Right. What man? To me. Okay. Go on. Go on. To go me. On. Right. Yeah. I didn't even give him round seven. I thought I thought he lost three. Right. That's crap. And round let, let, round let, three and four barely gave it to him. Round five and six uh, barely gave it to, to to Frampton. Frampton definitely won round two. You know what I'm saying? But round seven through eleven, I gave to Quick. Then Frampton came back at nine and cleaned it up. I say eight through eleven, not seven. I think I think Frampton got out early in seven, and then he uh, he stood his ground with Quick. Quick tried to come on strong. He stood his ground, but then um, then you write eight through eleven. Quick swept those rounds, and then I think uh, Frampton took the twelve. But uh, but but those first those first six rounds those first six rounds, man. 
I swear. It wasn't, it wasn't shit going on. Yeah, it was the jab. It was the jab, though. The jab was touching him, man. He was. But a lot of, a lot of, especially in three and four, the the jab wasn't landing like that. Man, I see. The jab what? wasn't landing like that. I, we, we, no, I, 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 I stay in five and six, and maybe in two, the was, jab was landing. We were doing nothing, bro. Like, I, I hard for school. Neither was Crampton. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, it's, 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 now it's the nothing that you prefer. <laughs> You know what I mean? What what is the nothing that you like better? That's that's what it that, that's what it came down to. Yeah. I think the seventh round is like the one where he um he came in and quick spent him around like quick try to get him on the ropes and he wound up like spinning like Frampton kind of schooled him in that seventh round, man. He Not in good. the seventh. That, that's the first. That that's that's the round that quick came up came alive. Uh, that's when he came alive, but Frampton wasn't ready to go. Frampton looked ready. Nah, to go. he wasn't ready to go, but I, I had him edging the round though. Frampton looked like ready. Looked like he was ready to, to sort of like get about up in like eight through eleven. But in the yeah, yeah, yeah. But bottom line, oh, bottom like, line, I don't, I don't see no robbery here. My, my thing is, Quick should have started what he was doing earlier, going to the body, breaking him down. You know what I'm saying? Can't. You, no, he you, can't. He can't. It's all, it's all a joke with him now. He's, they always talk about his stamina, this and that. But he do this in every one of his big fights. He start late, and then he be the man there that still got better stamina because he ain't done nothing. If he fought a four twelve rounds, we might be looking at a big hundred and twenty two pounder that don't got nothing in the tank late. Why is this pattern continuing? That's what you gotta ask yourself. He does this all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, he he doesn't start that late, man. He doesn't wait six rounds. Yeah, look at look at the no. um, the Cuban. He, he might he might give up one or two rounds. He don't give up six. Uh, I I I would say I would say tonight he gave up on my car he gave up seven he he started fighting in round seven now with the Cuban he started about six you know but uh you know even with Martinez he wasn't in there throwing shots really being active he was on the back foot and he landed a good shot and he got the job done I, I really got like he was he was let he was letting he was letting um Frampton be the aggressor early on you know what I mean and that. I mean, he was the stronger, bigger man. He had the reach advantage. He had the height advantage. He wasn't using his jab at all. Like, what the fuck? His jab, but I don't think his jab was effective when he tried he it. When he tried I mean, he, he used it to set up body shots. He used it to set up the, the, the overhand right. He was he was hooking he was on um, hooking with that left hand off the and jab also, later on in the fight. Let me ask you a question: Was that what like over here? Was that worth paying for? Was would you think that was box office? No, no. Nah, man, nah. But if I, let me tell you, let me tell you, going into the fight, you see, you can't tell until people get in the ring. That's what they said about Floyd and Floyd and, uh, and Manny. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's true. But his thing is, it was a, it was a big rivalry. It was two um undefeated quote unquote champions. We know how that go already. We ain't even gonna get into that. You know what I'm saying? So. There was only one champion in that ring right there. Yeah. yeah. You, that's why I said quote unquote champions. That's right. That's Two right. quote unquote champions, you know? And they had this back and forth uh 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 rivalry going on for over a year now. You know what I'm saying? So it's a big build up. People are anticipating it and things of that nature, but you can never tell how ex exciting and exhilarating the fight is gonna be until they actually get in the ring. And this kind of yeah, it was a little lackluster. It, but, you know, it kinda it, it kinda it kinda picked up at the end though. You round know what I mean? It kinda round, picked round up. 10. It was all right. Round ten, round, round ten. But, but this thing is this 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 tell the truth, yeah. The trainer yeah. of the year. The ring magazine trainer of the year. What the fuck was his strategy? What what what, what to, to count off Frampton? It all he all we got to do is do what he was doing from round ten. And for for me, yeah. round ten is when he when he started bringing it bringing the pain. You EJ, you forgetting it. You forgetting it. You got you. You forgetting it. This man's stamina got to be in question. We can't let that slide, bro. We can't let that slide. Well, to me, he has he he is the one with the um reputation of having great stamina. Franklin yeah. is the one who have who has the reputation of uh losing steam down the stretch. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what was happening. It's a it's a not a habit it's a pattern though. What I'm saying is this this is my point. I cannot quit making it because I feel so like it, it, it's I feel like it's too right. Like this man does this every fight. He loses these early rounds. He's conceding rounds. He's boxing off his back foot. Next thing you know, he's turning it up versus the best of the best opponents because he don't trust his. He won't. He want to make. He want to ensure that he is the best 
uh, the, the the best person breathing in the ring in the late rounds. And then if you look at the 12th round, he wasn't going to work like he was in the 8th and 11th, like he let too much go. And in, the 12th and round, in the 12th round, Frampton just fought smarter. Yeah, Frampton, true, true. Frampton moved better. He unleashed combinations and when and when um Quick tried to retaliate, he would tie for uh Quick Quick up and make him have to reset. Yes. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a question of his stamina. It was a question of Frampton settling down, getting back to his boxing, and fighting a smarter fight than he was fighting in the in the previous rounds. I'm not questioning, I'm not questioning for his stamina. I'm questioning his fight his his fight style would never be to outbox nobody. His style is to be mean and mall. I'm saying that man cannot do that for 12. He can't be at his best for 12 rounds. It's impossible. He can't do it. Oh, you said if he opened up early, he would have gassed in the later round. That's why he's... That's what I'm saying. He can't fight the style he needed. Yeah, that, that's probably right. That's probably right. They can blog about his stamina all they want, but if you can't do what you do best for 12 full rounds, then you got a problem. That's what I'm saying. It ain't a world, world, world class fight. What kind of world? That wasn't no world class fight with Tyler Back. Frampton, nah, nah, not at all, man. And, and, and for the record, to anybody listening, those dudes is food for Rigo. I, I think that's the best fighters, though. I do. Just because Rigo beats them, I, you know, he does beat them. But I think they were a class fight. I think both are. I, 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 I can't give them respect, man, because they they refuse to fight that dude. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Let's let's see let's see how it goes after this. But they've been refusing to fight that dude for quite some time. Both have, I, I just say that both have a skill set to be two, possibly three division champs. I, definitely two. But it don't sound like he was um too quick about fighting Rigo because he started mentioning 126 pounders. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. about to give them belts up quick. He about to yeah. give them shits up. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? And, and you know what? What the problem is here? Rigo's only gonna get the fight for one of them if he vacates them. Like, but he was gonna supposed to get the fight for both. So who? Else? I think it's the IBF and the WBA, right? Yeah. I, I hope they both get his man. Uh, you know, give him his just due and let him fight for the titles because he was about to be in the position. Especially the WBA who really shitted on him hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Downgraded his championship to give it to fucking Quick. They were building up that fight. You know what's American? You must. You guys are covering the fight, American exposure in that fight. This it was a dud, man. It was, this this be truth, man. The fight was a dud. Yeah, like, I mean it, it had like some it had some moments, like, but it's it was, not a pay per view fight. They were talking about the fight like it's gonna be like Barrera and Morales, man. Come on, man. Nobody, you know, you know what? But, but, but like I said, EJ, you never really know until they get in the ring and actually throw gloves. It's kind of you know, Monday morning quarterbacking. Nobody, go ahead, go ahead. Nobody wanted to be Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs seen the biggest crowd of his life. He came out there and let a nation go and get the job done. You got to give him credit. You chopping? You chopping side? What are you doing over there? You chopping food? <laughs> So, so I mean, even, even, look at the big fights we had as a. Lady. That's me, man, Nazi boy R D. You had uh, you had Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao. They, you know, Floyd threw the big right hand, but it, the fight was essentially a normal Floyd fight. You had uh, Triple G. He abandoned Mexican style and jabbed all day. Um, you get these big fights. These dudes look at each other. Nobody want to fail. Nobody wanted to be Danny Jacobs either, though, man. So, you know, you still I gotta give Jacobs credit on something like that. Man. Like people said, so now look, look at Klitschko, Vlad, Klitschko versus um Fury, the ballerina contest they had. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Like you, and, and this was a good fight. Like they picked up. I gotta, I gotta take my hat off the Quig and say, you know, I thought he was gonna just concede and tell the dude to take his off. But he did the opposite of Vladimir Klitschko. He did the opposite of Andy Lee ass, and he went out there and he tried to win the fight late, but. Like I said, his stamina will not allow him to be that dude for, I don't even think, eight rounds. If he fought an eight rounder, he would not fight that way. He couldn't do it. Man, for a while there, I thought this was going to be Andy Lee and uh, BJ Saunders all over again, man. For no. real. Until that seven round kicked in, I was like, man, this is going to be one of them motherfuckers? Please. Man, when it, I, when it came to this decision, I thought, man, what's the just seeing? There was no, that was a unanimous decision, bro. That was a nice decision for me. It was I all agree, the way, man. I agree. I, agree. I mean, that would be a split decision. Be the best so, shot in the let me ask round. y'all something. So, so those first six rounds, you clearly saw Frampton sweeping. I tell you, I tell you how I scored those first six rounds. 
what you said the first round was a draw. That's a 10-10 round. No yeah. doubt. No question for me, right? From yeah. onwards, onwards, the one who done more in them rounds from round two to round six it was, was obviously it was Frampton. He was throwing more punches. He quick wasn't doing anything. He wasn't doing any. I couldn't give him I couldn't give him them round because he wasn't doing nothing. I gave Frampton. Frampton was least throwing jabs and trying to jab him to the stomach and jabbing. Maybe they wasn't landing, but he was throwing more punching and perceived to me that he was doing more. And I gave him all them rounds there. And even his corner, sealed him from round seven, you're losing all the rounds. That's when he came out in round seven trying to fight and make trying to make a fight of it. I doubt the first round I gave him was round seven. And then he just went back again and he didn't he, he disappeared for round ten. From round ten then he came back and then from round from round ten, eleven, twelve, you could hardly give him some rounds then, but there was no way he won that fight, man. No way, bro. I couldn't give him that fight. And then furthermore, Anderson Silver got fucking beat United decision by Michael Bisbin. You need to check that UFC one now. That's controversy right there, but in boxing, in the boxing world, man, I, I, bro, I'm just looking forward to Hank Lundy and um, Hank Lundy and Crawford later. Oh, you saying, sir, hold on, you saying Silver got robbed? Yeah, he got robbed. He lost by United States to Bisbee. He knocked him out in the, I think he knocked him out in the second round or something like that. And then the, the referee let it continue, and then Bisbee won on points, man. He got knocked down with a knee. It's bad, man. It's, you need to check it out, bro. But anyway, I saw um, the blood on his. I saw the blood on his face, but yeah, I didn't. He won the fight. fight. Yeah, he won the fight. But you know, I season. watch. I watch a couple of those people, but I can't watch UFC much. But I do watch like Jones, Silver. I watch like the great people. Um, what's the, the guy from Canada? Yeah. Uh, GSP. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watch them, but not the not all that shit, man. Hey, there's people in the chat, man. Robbie Gotti. Yeah, man. How you doing, man? Rob Gotti. Loads of people in the chat. Um, he he has a, a good engine, uh, too much nervous energy. I think he was talking about um, quick. Um, what's again? No, 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 no. He's a, no, no, no. It can't be right. Like he's an experienced fighter. Like he knows his style. He knows what he's good at. And and you see this too much. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh. You can't. I blame the, I blame, I'm not gonna lie to you. I blame the corner. You know, I blame the corner in that fight. I think I think Joe Gallagher. I think they got it wrong in the game plan. I honestly, honestly, I thought they got that way wrong. Yeah, if you're not gonna fight with that impact and style, at least you need to be tripling up the jab and and pushing the guy back and letting him know I'm the bigger fighter and mm. not letting him walk you back. I agree. Right. Do when he decided to use his his impose his will and his his size. It was easy, you know what I'm saying? You could tell the difference. Mm-hmm. You could see, you could see that Frampton looked uncomfortable with that shit. So, like, I don't understand why he wouldn't do that from early on. He might have got a freaking knockout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might have not had even even T who T is talking about his stamina. It might not have to go that distance, T, because uh, if he invested, if he invested in the body earlier, that that could have been an early night. Okay, okay, maybe he tries in a rematch. Maybe he tries that. Maybe he feels that way. But from what, what he saw Sam Frampton before that with Martinez, if you walk up on Frampton, you get countered and you get countered hard. And, you, and I think the 12th round kind of showed it like Frampton was hitting him back in his body. Frampton took the shot, gave the shot back. Uh, I, I, I don't know. In a rematch, maybe he does try that. And maybe he gets hurt just as much as Frampton. And, and then Frampton's a stronger man late. I would like to see it. But they need to they need to get their fights out the way first and then do that again. Yeah, man. Rigo, he, he's talking Santa Cruz, but Rigo is the only fight anybody wants to see. Well, Santa Cruz's fight later on. I want to see how Santa Cruz does against um, Martinez, man. I, I'm interested to see how he does against Martinez. So, but um, t- t- today, man, hey, man, Frampton, the sh- for me, Frampton showed that he's a world, proper world champion. I see Eddie Hearn's face in in in, in the background. I was laughing my head off, man. Eddie looks so dude. Hey, he caught he caught Oscar De La Hoya and got Levi Martinez number, no doubt, man. Like no doubt, like. Now he must boys with you. You see the Watson boys were there. You see the Watson Watson brothers were there. That's a mess. Levi Martinez because because Frampton is a is a um a Al 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 Heyman fighter. That's right. That's right. Right. Levi need to put them scorecards up. Hey, uh, Doc Doc Black says both both hype jobs. I said, yeah, man. You can say that. Hey, you know what? I want to see. I want to see Levi round by round. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Levi Martinez round by round scorecard. If if he did give Quig, you know, the fourth, because he did land the best shot, but it was only one shot. He did get out jabbed. He did get. Killed. Maybe we are. Maybe he all right. 
Mm. Uh, I need to see his whole scorecard. If he gave quick round one and just said, oh, that's round one, you, we got problems off the bat. Man, I, 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 listen, that fight there, I, man, it's, it's not the one that I'm going to be rushing to go watch again. I know I got it right the first time. I know my scorecards, the fans and this and that, man. But that's why I didn't pay for it. That's why I didn't pay for that fight, man. The undercard was a worthy. And the fight, to be honest with you, really, to me, the only fight only started from round 10. So that's how many rounds. You're paying pay-per-view. Did you get your money worth as a pay-per-view star? I don't think so. Hey, we got Pound Pound Michael here. We got Nato in. Hey, jump in, Michael. We saying, bro? Uh, what's going on, everybody? Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear, my friend. Give us your take. All right. Uh, the first nine rounds in my books were pretty meh. Uh, nothing really <laughs> happening. Uh first round I had a draw uh, but from round two through seven um, Quick was doing enough it wasn't much but he was doing enough to win the rounds mainly with the jab and whatnot. Eight close round could have went either way I had Frampton winning nine and then Quick finally woke up and started to fight with some fire came on round ten to eleven ten and eleven um, Quick did, but Frampton he rallied a bit at the last round. I had the scorecard. My on my scorecard I had it. Uh, I'm going back between eight three and one and eight and four. Just depends on how you scored the first round. But I was I was watching the fight here in the states on Showtime Extreme. I just couldn't understand the scorecard of Jim Watt and um, Frotch. Frotch had it even, I believe. Watt had it, I think, by a point. Yeah. For Frampton, I just I I was maybe it's just me, but I just didn't understand the scorecard. But they were biased as hell, man. I don't know what they are. They were just trying to, trying to, trying, trying to fake the fans. But we all knew what was happening. It was a landslide. <laughs> it's a last Now he had actually had Quig winning the fight. Yeah, but so, I, I don't know, man. Them first, them first six rounds weren't that clear to me, man. They weren't. <laughs> That's all right, Nagy, man. No, was, it was, nah, it, 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 look, bro. It's, it's what your takers, your takers. Yeah, but, it was like they, they, look, barely, they, they were barely edging them. You know what I'm saying? Bro, oh, like that, that fight, that fight there wasn't. What you think, Mike? What was your final the, score? Mike, what was your I had, final? I had it. I'm, I'm flipping between. I'm gonna watch it again, but um, I have it between eight three and one, eight to four. Uh, the difference for me now in those rounds was that uh, Frampton was at least getting off with the jab. He was using, utilizing the jab better, and that was the difference for me. And he was throwing more combinations overall. Mm. Okay, cool, man. Fair enough. Hey, not to man. Something up, Nota? Good to have you over again, man. Unmute yourself, man. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Go on, give us your take. All right. Uh, yeah, I was trying to check and make sure my mic was working. Everything's been acting up on this stupid laptop. No, nah, man, I had, I had Frampton win, and I thought he won it clear. Um, basically, like, you know, uh, four, the four-point spread, the, the eight rounds to four. So, I mean, that's how I had it. I mean, but the thing is, you know, Quig really sold himself short by not starting earlier. And that's pretty much all you can really say, because once he started, once he started going to to Frampton's body, he was able to hurt him, and those last, those last, you know, about four or five rounds were pretty, pretty good stuff. You know, that was pretty compelling stuff. You know, it's just a shame. Um, it almost seemed like, you know, they were, you know, if you wanted to get conspiracy theorists on it, like they were just trying to like sell a rematch, basically, which they'll probably be able to do, because I mean, I'm sure this probably did good pay-per-view numbers in the UK, so. Mm. But I mean, uh, well, boy, look, man. I can be honest with you. The undercard wasn't that good. The fight, to be honest with you, this fight should have happened like five years ago, and yeah. it was supposed to be a domesticated fight. And one of them wasn't. Let's be real. One of them wasn't even a real champion. And and, and that's why, to me, I saw a world class fighter, and I saw basically a domesticated fighter who's basically been well well managed and, and been picked against certain fighters. That's what I saw. I don't, I don't know. I ain't trying. I'm just gonna just tell you how it is, man. It, you, you thought Frampton outclassed him that bad, though? Yeah, man. It was to me. It was so wide. Look, from from round the first round, ten ten. Agree with Natty, no doubt. But from from round two to six, bro, all Frampton, all Fra He just did more. He just did more. Oh, he, yeah, of course. He did, he, did, he threw more. And like, I, I I said it was gonna be easy, and the scorecards reflected that on one of the judges' scorecards. No, but I mean, you, you didn't you didn't feel any tension when uh, Quig was hurting Frampton though with the body. In the round, from round ten, he was bringing the fight, but he knew he was down on the scorecards. So what, 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 if he had that in it, what, what um, Scorsese was pointed out is that he was trying to save his energy because he was worried about gassing up. 
that's why he conserved so much energy. But it was, yeah, too, it was too late, man. Well, I mean, in the last round, it, it seemed like he was gassing a little bit, and Frampton was taking advantage of that. Yeah, man, but it, it, it's yeah, me, it's he too he different. Have done that. He couldn't have done that at all. He couldn't. Have, he could not have made six rounds of that. And especially the way Frampton was sneaking his own body shots. He would take the shots of uh, the bigger man. Quig was much bigger. And, and that's what Frampton's going to have a problem with at 126 with, like, Leo Santa Cruz. If he choose to fight that way, these guys are much bigger. Uh, I, I think Santa Cruz steamrolls him, to be honest and with you. you. Know, and you know Leo can do that for Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz versus Quig. I don't want to see Santa Cruz versus Quig, man. I'd like to see that fight. Uh, uh, Santa Cruz better than both because he can, he can keep up that style uh, and be the bigger man. For 12 well, he's, he's really good defensively, too. His defense is really underrated. Hey, he catches hey, almost all the shots. They ain't trying to fight no American fights, and they ain't trying to fight no Rico either. Like, they ain't trying to fight none of them. Well, I mean, uh, you got Heyman involved, so, you know, that's not going to happen. Heyman ain't doing business with Jay-Z, or vice versa, really, is Jay-Z won't do business with Heyman. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah. Heyman, Heyman, the, the Heyman gets a bad rap for, quote-unquote, not doing business with people, but it's really people hating on him that is the problem. Yeah, man. I, yeah. man I, I, to be honest with you, man, the fight, the, the feeling, yeah, I'm not upset, but I'm not overly happy. You know what I'm trying to say? And the commentators are like, oh, they're so, they're so evenly fight, no one wants to make a mistake. Man, let's go and fight, man. Get in there and fight. You know, well, that, that's a, that's the thing that was bothering me about him, and seeing that's the main reason why, like in the past at least, like I I had favored somebody like a Rigo over both of them, because it's like that's exactly what he wants you to do. You know, he would want you to just pose with him, you know, and 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 psych you out basically. Mm -hmm. I I hate I hate watching fighters get psyched out like that, especially when they're supposed to be offensive fighters, like say like Frampton is, and that that shit really rubs me the wrong way. That's why I think once Frampton sp steps up to another level, he's getting he's getting hurt bad. They, um, the, the game plan was so what he was I, I, I could see what they were trying to do they were trying to counter Frampton but they forgot they're too slow they're too slow and they're, I'm too, they're, they're such a power he, I don't like um, quick and hit pretty hard but he just didn't throw enough punches for me to be winning that fight and anyone hey, keep his hands way too low for rigging down man yeah, but here, here's the thing if if um if they do have that rematch quick needs to just let that shit go in the first few rounds otherwise he's losing again and he's gonna lose face on that that's all I. That's all I know about that. Though. Yeah, but you see, you can see by the energy, by the panel, that no one's really overly enthusiastic, and we know that the two of them ain't trying to look for Rigo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, you, what would y'all say if they had three more rounds? They was fighting fifteen rounds. They had three more. What? What would? Uh, that would have been. I think Quick would have gassed and Frampton would have got him. Man, right. they are the I shit know, out of me. Man, Quick was bringing that. Quick was bringing that heat on. I that. think. I think Quick. I think Quick let it go and Frampton start. Smartly tying them up, and the referee yeah. don't have no reason to deduct points. Frampton just too smart. Like that used to sit there. Frampton can beat him so many ways. He just, he just, he's just a world class operator, and he can tell by the pedigree of the guys he's been fighting. You know. And to, and to T's, and to T's point, let's just let's just ask, let's just stay on that question. Uh, Frampton, even when Quig was coming on the last three rounds, he was landing some shots there too, particularly to the body. Yeah, he was. He was, but the thing is, yeah. So Quay could have gassed out under that scenario. Yeah. yeah. Going, was, going was, for broke. It was just little. My prediction, my prediction really didn't plan out the way I thought. I thought Quig would, uh, I mean, Frampton would uh, pile on the punishment early because Quig would be trying to box or, or conserve energy. He didn't. He really just jabbed him. So that messed my prediction up. But when it came to, when I said Quig would turn it up, and Frampton would be right in there in the fight with him. I was right. That that and that that played a difference. He's seen that you know this guy just ain't gonna fold like the Cuban fighter did. Uh, you know, or, 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 or he's not just gonna take one shot like Martinez and go. And that made a huge difference for him. Like that that style is this style is. I need you to quit. That's what kind of style that is. If you hit him back in the body, he ain't gonna like it much. And a lot of guys are quit from his left hook to the body. So I could t let me tell you something. Hank Lundy and Crawford are gonna be better than this. I can tell you that, man. I can tell you that right now, bro. Well, I know Seha, who Ruiz versus gonna is gonna be better than this. Yeah. In fact, I think I'd probably pick the winner of that over the over. I think I think because I think in America, I think you know, maybe you guys do you guys the urges to you to get step on the gas and do something because the, the I don't know these guys are getting a pay a pretty penny to stand around and stare at each other, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. they gave the foul what they won for ten rounds. But I tell you what, if they put that fight again, I don't know if they're gonna make that fight pay per view. You know where you're gonna, you can't sell that to the to the fight. Uh, I think that, that probably depends on what the numbers come back though, doesn't it? The, number, 
the number's gonna be good, but it's not. It's it's not worthy to have a rematch. They're talking about a rematch on Ireland or whatever. Man, that that's bruh, You you can't make people pay for that fight again. Frig, you're crazy. How much was it? I don't. It was a. Uh, it was sixteen ninety five. I didn't pay though. I just I just streamed it. I I, I knew already. I ain't trying to. I'm trying to do that. That's really not bad though. I mean, con- compared to like what we gotta pay over here for ours. No, obviously not. But it's like we we paid it on top of already our bill, our Sky bill already. So it co- it it totals up quite pretty near to that's about 90, yeah. 95 pounds or something like that. So at yeah, the end of the month, so that's that that was on top as well. So, but I, I, to be honest with you, man, like I'm gonna probably watch it again. And but it's not nothing I'd say. Yeah, man, you, have you seen this fight? You need to be watching this fight. Not like Joshua and Joshua and White, man. Bro, you can watch that fight all day. That fight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was good. Maybe again, it's the heavyweight. The heavyweights, like I was saying from the start of the year, the heavyweights took over. Like, you know what heavyweights? You're gonna get excitement. Someone's gonna get knocked out. The little guys, man. The, the well, little that's guys. I, I kind of said something similar, like, you know, like, these guys, they need to start making the matchups, otherwise the people aren't really going to pay as much attention, you know, they got to they gotta fight for the, they got to fight for the shine now, because the heavyweights are getting it on, and they're good, putting on good performances, good shows. There's some real good heavyweight battles coming up, right, this year. That's I mean, I, I remember, like, uh, every once in a while, like, I'll look back on some of these fights on YouTube that happened around, like, maybe, like, 2000, 2001, 2002, and this was, like, around the time when Lewis was fighting, like, um... Rockman, like Rockman one and two and stuff, and you know, like there were some like heavily hyped fights, and like around that time was when you know, like Morales Barrera one was happening, and like some of these those other fight. type oh, fights, you know, like that was a great and, fight. and the thing is, you know, they had to make those great fights on, at the at the other weight classes in order to really compete for for time mm-hmm. with the heavyweights. So, I mean, hopefully you know, that comes back. Hey, from round ten, if the if the fight started from round ten, the way it started from round ten. If they fought that way from round ten from the very first round, then I would have said it was an Eric Morales and Lebrera fight. Absolutely. Like, hey, yeah. speaking of speaking of good trilogies, man, I just noticed that uh, Showtime has on demand the uh, the Paulie Ayala tr- uh, Tapia mm-hmm. trilogy on on demand. Mm-hmm. So oh yeah. If you yeah, got Showtime or anything like that, man, check that shit out this weekend. Who's it? Paulie Ayala versus who? Johnny, Johnny Tapia. Tapia. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm okay. All right, Tapia yeah. was a great boxer, man. I think he was when he wasn't trend. on that stuff. He had some problems outside the ring, but in the ring, he was a beast. Yeah, I think yeah he no, when, when he wasn't on that shit, he was he was really good. I think he was a good trend. The problem is Tapia was always well. Let me take that back. Isabel Vasquez versus Rafael Marquez. I tell you, what, them three, tri- them four trilogies was pretty good, man. They was yeah. good. That, that's a good trilogy, like you said. That's a yeah, that's a good fight. Puerto versus uh, Thingy, man. That's a good fight. Um, Beast is Beast is in the chat saying there's a European title thing. That's what I said as well, Beats. The European title thing. Actually, me and your Beats if you jump in. So yeah, it was like a European title fight for real. That, that that that's basically what it was, man. It was the as a domesticated world title thing. Domesticated, man. Anyone else want to say anything? Everyone's seen. Everyone just doomed, you know. Can you imagine that? Remember, we wait, people been waiting for this fight for years. You know that they've been waiting for this fight for like how many years? And this fight, this. Let me read some people in the chat, man. What else are people saying in the chat? One second. Uh, quick started to the body attack way way too late. Yeah, he did. Uh, raw raw use UK nine nine. Yeah, he did. He started way too late in the body, man. Peace. I'm sending you a link now. I'm 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 not I'm not absolutely doomed. Because uh, you know it's actually oversighted, though, isn't it? You know what I'm saying. But but my but let me finish let me finish my statement. At least the fight happened. We know in this sport there are so many good fights, there's so many good unification bouts out there that we want to see, yeah. but we do not see it. And at least we got it. Um, I mean, look at flyweight. Uh, we we talk about Roman Gonzalez, how he's the top dog, and this and that. When are we going to see that rematch against Estrada? Yeah. With both belts on the line. You still haven't seen it. HBO so, is, is the one standing in the way of that, man. Whatever. It should happen. Yeah. They should stop BSing around. Yeah, that's you can true. see that with other fighters in other divisions, you know. Yeah. So it, at least it happened. And for me, the last three rounds, it, it didn't put me to to- totally to sleep. Didn't make the fight good at all. But at least it left me something. It left me something. That's terrible, isn't it? People paying money it's for a, that. It's fight. a sad indictment. Yeah, but, it you is. know, of course, I didn't pay a, I didn't pay a dime for it, so <laughs> I can say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. 
Can I stay true? I didn't pay either. If I paid my money, I'll be paid. Because I, I, I was like, I was trying to, the, the commentators were doing a really good job. I was like, no, if one one makes a mistake, the other would pay. And I was like, nah, nah, ain't nothing to do with that. It's because the other guy is garbage and the other one's better than him. And he, he, he knew he wouldn't get embarrassed. That's what it was. Shit. I paid for Showtime and that shit just took up some fucking time on my DVR. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But tell you what, man. I'm looking forward. I'm really looking forward to Hank Landy. I know the Martinez fight is going to be better with Santa Cruz. But Santa Cruz gets stuck in. <laughs> He's just I gonna can't get believe stuck in Hank Landy. I can't. No, but that, that's why. That's why I was saying say how Ruiz. That's on the Santa Cruz. I, I, I can't believe in Hank Landy. He often he often talks bigger than he fights. Yeah, I agree with that. But, yeah, the, yeah. Really, but, but the thing is, Crawford's going to be coming from because of the girlfriend thing, isn't it? Hank Lenny just isn't on his level. I, I mean, I think Crawford should really dispose of him. He should do to him what he did to Gene. Yeah. Oh, nah. If, he, if, he's, all, mean, if Crawford, he's all that we're saying that he is, he should be able to do to him what he did to Gene. Crawford going to do to Lundy what uh, Whitaker did to Poli Diaz back in the day. Just punish him <laughs> for 12 rounds. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fair, too. Well, but, I, mean, like, I think he's going to get sparked, because... man. He's going to get sparked. Mm. Lundy? Oh, you say you're going to knock him out? Absolutely. Hmm. What's up, He's going to get sparked. What's up, Beats? I'm cool to see. Beats. What's going on, Beats? What's going on? I think he's, his back's not working properly. Beats. Oh, Is he on? I don't even see him on here. Yeah, he's there. He's there. When you're ready, Beats, man, jump. I tell you, man, just, just one of them things there, man. It's one of them fights there. Actually, the Marco Hook versus the Oliver Labi fight was pretty good, actually. I can't believe he got stopped, you know. I'm actually uh, telling you, Oliver Labi got stopped. Spoiler alert. I hadn't, I hadn't, what happened? I, hadn't, I, hadn't, I don't know the results, so let me yeah, know. I'm, I'm telling you, isn't it? He got stopped on his... <laughs> oh. Oh. I know it's a spoiler, man. He's telling you that. It just, it's not, you know what I mean? He got stopped on his stool, isn't it? And it just... Uh, Hutt, Hutt got stopped on his stool? No, no. Oliver Labi? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Stuff. Yeah, man, I told you it was a confidence builder error. Yeah, but you know the thing is, yeah, I, I, I need to watch the fight because I saw Oliver Lobby's face swell up, and then all of a sudden the referee wouldn't let him out in the corner. So I need to watch the fight. That's the fight I need to watch mm. because I thought Hook, I thought Huck would have, you know, I thought him coming off a knockout against Hawaii, I thought he'd have been doomed up, but it, it wasn't the case. Hey, Beach, no. you Beats. Yeah, I'll mute yourself, man. You're on mute, bro. Speak, speaking of Glowacki, what y'all think of Cunningham going back down to fight him? I mean, I don't think Cunningham should have moved up in the first place. Mm. I know he was, he was going there that's chasing money. The yeah, that's why I know he was going up there chasing money, but he was always going to be at a disadvantage. He was always going to be an undersized heavyweight, man. He's not... He, he, He's not that big of a cruiserweight. He's probably an average size cruiserweight. Mm -hmm. He's one of those cruiserweights that could have made the 180 pound limit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was good at cruiserweight because he beat Mark yeah. he, be, he He could beat Dennis Leatherbad. He could have ruled it down there. He didn't have to move up. Nope. I mean, you think he would, yeah, have but would, he, would he have made as much money, though, is the question. Yeah, but the thing is, is it about money or about leg holding being the world champion and legacy? Because about more, all the <laughs> European champions, he could have. And, and did he really get to the paper, though? No. Did he actually get? He didn't get to the paper, so it That's might as well he should have. He stayed down there and be a champion, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? He got us, robbed against it. Thomas Adamek. He got robbed against Zar Glasgow. He got robbed against Antonio Tarver, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely he, he got. He got. He got freaking uh, manhandled and and filed against Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what you going up there for if you're not gonna make money or get the belt? He exactly. got notoriety because he fought on PBC on in, on on network television, whatever. But notoriety doesn't necessarily mean cash. Nah, and I think he could have still got that PBC love, and they could have actually brought some light to the cruiserweight division, like how they trying to do how now. they trying to do now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yo, can you guys hear me? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> can you guys? Hear me? You're can you guys hear me? There, you're a little bit loud there. Cut the volume down, bro. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're a little too much. Who's getting on beats? I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Is it really now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Getting feedback. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but getting feedback. Yo, what's yeah. good? Yeah, there you go. That's good. All yeah. right. So what's been happening, man? You, you watch um, Frampton, the European title fight? 
Yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your take, man? <laughs> Good European title fight, man. Good European. That's what it was, isn't it? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good European title. Fight. Domestic level. Domestic level, right? Yeah, domestic level. I'll give him European. I'll give him European. Yeah, you gave it European. I'll give, I, I'll give it lower than that, though. I give it lower than that. I give it British and thing. Yeah, man. Quick look what like you said, is it, is it Commonwealth now? <laughs> it's Commonwealth. That's it's got quick look like Southern, South, South, Southern area, man. Yeah, he looked terrible. And Joe Gallagher's the, fighter, the trainer of the year, Beats, man. They gave him yeah, the, yeah, he got exposed. He got exposed. See, he got exposed. He got exposed. He got exposed, man. I mean, you know, these guys have been hyping up a potential unification fight all that time. And... You know, Quig looked like an amateur in there. He looked like an amateur. Mm -hmm. he, looked like a, he looked like an absolute novice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I had Frampton up about four. See? That's clean, in it? Clean, yeah. it? Clean, sweet, man. Clean, sweet. <laughs> Say yo, bro. Now he had, um, had uh, Quig winning the fight, bro, but... It's because of some of the rounds. That it's the it's them round from round two to round six. He gave some of them to um to quick, but me I didn't give him none of them, bro. The, the first round was a tied ten ten, and but you know like I said, everyone saw it differently. Yeah. No, it wasn't for quick. I mean, like you know, the boxing skills just just ain't there, man. Just mm -hmm. Ain't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, the ta the tactics. What well, just were all wrong? Like he was waiting for the perf. He, he was waiting for my man to slow up so he can hit him, man. Caveman boxing. Yeah, and you that, that's what he was doing. Isn't it? He was waiting to counter him, and that's that was the game plan. Trying to he, he, what they forgot is that he, they're too damn slow. Yeah, too slow. Way too, too slow. Oh, you're trying to counter yeah. someone like, to Frampton. It was, it was. What kind of game plan is that? Your game plan is to make the guy miss and make him pay. Because you could do that against them other opponents who came in at short notice. You could get away yeah. with it. He, when he fought fight Kiko Martinez, the man ran into the uppercut. He, so he, he looked spectacular. Yeah, Frampton beat him up twice. Really. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. You know, like I, I actually thought Quinn was gonna was gonna beat him. Then I, when I'm watching the fight, I said, "What was I thinking about?" <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> You had this decision a long time ago. I picked, I picked it on the I picked it yesterday. What was it? I think we did it yesterday. Post finger yesterday. Uh, the only one I got wrong is Ola Falabi. You see the Ola Falabi fight? You said he got stopped, yeah? Your first I'll, time give you stopped. I'll send you a link on your Facebook. Yeah, I'm about to watch it a bit later. Yeah, He got stopped on his stool, man. Pissed me off, man. I don't even know what happened. His face was swell up as well. Badly, man. What's that? Yeah. But uh, but um, that that probably was more exciting than the Scott. You see, oh, you see Eddie Hearn's face at the end of the fight. Nah, yeah, he was pissed. Looking like what was, he was, was it a split like decision? Quick, looking like he hate quick, he hate quick, bro. Like quick, he was won it? quick. Was it a split decision? Yeah. 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 Uh, it should have been a split decision though. But I don't know why. Look like, like a unanimous to me, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. That's what it was, man. And see, you see the whole panel is mute. Though. Everyone's quiet in the panel. You see that? Yeah, everyone's gone quiet. We're, yeah, we're, 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 everyone's we're, quiet. No, to everyone. Natty. Grab the mic on that. No, it can really be said. See? Yeah, it was. It was uh, first two thirds of that fight was nothing really happening. So you can't say much. Okay. The whole panel is quiet. No, but what I'm trying to say, you know, when we come up with a good fight, everyone's kind of like revved up and we were, there's a lot to say there's nothing to say it was it, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you let's, let's, let's be real the thing was a con bro and Beats you, you pay for the fight no you're joking I didn't pay for that exactly the, the people paid for the fight and went there man I'm telling you man it, bro it's the biggest I ain't going to say it's a con but bro it, <laughs> right, it was a con it was a con it's, it's, isn't it? Eddie Hearn's fucking great isn't it you, you, and you think you got the American audience watching that fight how can you sell it the fight? The fight only started from round ten. From round ten, they started fighting. You see, that shows you when you when you use hype tactics and politics, you can make guys look really good. Like everybody thought that Quick was a decent fighter, but you know, like tonight, this is oh man. Eric, they, they were trying to say this was going to be Eric Morales and Barrero. You mad? Poof. It may be from round ten it started to, but 
Uh, Eric Morales would have murdered both of them guys, one after the other, man. <laughs> in, in round 10, it started to look like maybe some of Morales' sparring sessions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, terrible. But, you know, I was, I, I'm not really that impressed with um, Frampton, man. They're trying, they're trying to boost him up to, to be the next dude, but not that impressed. You weren't impressed that. by Frampton either, yeah? No, nah, no, nah, we're, we're not really impressed. We're really impressed. I'm not really impressed. Oh, man, I can't even say no. I can't. There's no, there's no dis- arguing about that, man. Dis- well, that's the thing, you know, if Frampton really wanted to show his class, he should have gone in there earlier and really like put him on, put it on him. The fact that he didn't really shows a lot of deficits in him. Yeah, he had a turkey for him, didn't he? Huh? Yeah, he should have taken him out. Just got quick, man. How can he just? Dis- how can they corner? You know what? They need to capitulate, you know. They, lucky he started fighting from round ten. It was like, you know, it was like, like, and, and, T- and Scorsese said it. It was like how um, Fury and bloody and and, and Klitschko, bro. And Klitschko just let the man just take his belt. That's what it was looking like, man. You got some powerful body shots, though, quick, quick guys, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, the last three rounds, that was his only saving grace, really, for this fight. Outside of that, it was even worse than. Fury, Fury, Klitschko. You know why that was? You know why that was? Yeah. Because his trainer told him from round seven, you're losing the fight. I was like, what the fuck, man? What kind of game plan was you doing? They were just trying to counter him. It's like, you're too fucking slow, man, with your hand yeah, high. Yeah, they, they, they tried to put him out there as a counter puncher. That was just a big no-no. A big, big no-no. He's just too slow. Too slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, he's just back and forth. He's got no side-to-side movement at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, zero. You know, you know, he was training before though. It was Brian Hughes, innit? You know that Manchester Brian Hughes, the one that retired, innit? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that's got... what I can tell. That, 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 you know, Brian Hughes ain't that good, man. Never been. Yeah, yeah. Never been. Like Matthew Hall and them guys are training. Yeah, yeah, that's why. When I when I heard that, I said, "Freaking no, man." So no, no, that's why I looked, he did. He never looked the real part, man. He never did. I said, "Frampton, he just done the right things." They're not going to fight Rigo. That's the worst thing as well. Because you see, this is why I reckon why the panel's quiet. Because you know there's no Rigo in sight. You feel nah, they're they're not. That's why everyone's doomed up. It's not like, ah, oh, you win the fight. I want Rigo. I want Rigo next. Nah, man. He goes, I'm going to move up. I might move down. Well, no. they spent the last, like, what, three years avoiding that whole situation to begin yeah, with? Yeah, I'm going to avoid it even and, more. And, then, and that was even before Heyman got involved. And now that he's involved and, you yeah. know, Rigo's with Rock Nation, that's, you know, dead in the water. Right. You see how hard they were to deal with to negotiate the fight with uh, with with Quick. They were all these demands with the A side. So now he's got two belts. They're gonna make Rigo Migo come into the ring naked, bro. <laughs> they, they, you know what I'm saying? The negotiation is gonna be too hard, man. They just they're hard to deal with. They're hard to deal with, and it's Rock Nation, like you said. It's it's, it's, it's virtually impossible there. No. Um, I don't even want to comment that down. What's people saying? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's move on. That's not gonna happen. I mean, Rigo, he Rigo, he went to Twitter, challenging Frampton anytime, any place, anywhere. But we all know that that fight is not gonna happen. No, it's not gonna happen, man. It's not gonna happen. Well, you know, um, I, what I do know though is, uh, Zelani Tete is fight, fighting on that same card as Rigo on the on the Warren card. Maybe he can move up and fight him. I think that'd be a good fight. There's loads of fights, you know, like Chocolito. Like we was t- we were talking about Chocolito being number one, man. Bro, if Chocolito was a G, he could move up to fight fucking Frampton. I'd like to see that fight. They're out the same height anyway. <laughs> nah, Frampton's a way bigger guy, though. You know, yeah. The dollar is, is. He's he's getting into the 130s or the 140s the way Frampton probably Shit, is. Man, but but, he, I mean, the thing is, a lot of people were making a big deal about Quig being the quote-unquote bigger man in there. I mean, to me, I think Frampton struggles to make the way more than Quig does. And he, to me, he looked just as heavy as him in there. Frampton is short. He's not small. There's a difference. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's the thing that I try to get across to people all the time. It's like Celestino Caballero was freaking taller than Mike Tyson, but that doesn't make him bigger than him. Mm, mm, mm. Legs, bro. You see that, that Leo Santa Cruz fight? That's like four in the morning over here. Man. I don't know if I'm going to stay up for that. Fighting Nico Martinez, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's it's, four in the morning. That's man, four. listen. Uh, Santa Cruz should blow him out. If he doesn't, nah, yeah. Terrence Crawford's free in the morning. It's free in the morning. I don't know if I'm gonna stay up. That's in two hours. I don't know if I'm gonna stay up for these fights here, man. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay up for Crawford. I'm gonna go shop now and get some food. Well, they got yeah. Verdejo versus uh, what's his name? The uh, the That's hairdresser. That's a showcase bout, bro. Everybody yeah, the knows. The hairdresser is uh, as. Um, yeah, but you, 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 you need, you need. Listen, 
boxing, we good. We need our fix, man. We need, we need more. And the undercard for beats. The undercard for Quickton and Frank. Did you see the undercard? That was one of the worst undercards you've ever seen, bro. No, I, I didn't see it, EJ. Oh, uh, up, update hey. me on it. Oh, that undercard was woof. Oh, woof. It was bad, man. Undercard was... was oh. Listen, bro. Uh, listen. The fight you should like see to watch uh, uh, beats, beats, beats um, EJ is that Seha, if you're interested in the smaller guys, that Seha Ruiz rematch, that's the fight to stay up to see. Yeah, that's what someone was, that's what um, um, Nato was telling me. Yeah. Okay. You, no, you're saying... Yeah, that the first fight was good. I mean, I, I think Ruiz would probably, should get him in the rematch, though, because he's a better boxer. He just, which which other fight is that? Which other yeah. fight is that? That's oh, on the that? Santa Cruz, Kiko Martinez on the card, EJ. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, I've got it. Is that Hugo Ruiz? Ruiz. Oh, yeah, that's for the dollar. Yeah. Junior featherweight one, okay. Yeah, they they initially fought on the um, Santa Cruz Abner Mars undercard. They fought already? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they fought already on the Santa Cruz Abner Mars undercard last summer. Yeah. Um, Seha was winning. Seha was on the verge of stopping him, and then Ruiz caught him with a left hand, no. I believe it was, to, you gotta to knock him out. You got to reverse. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, jump out, man, so... All right, beast man. All right, man. We catch up. Hey, if anything, if not, if we don't catch the guys, are jump on your team tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, man. Peace. All right, peace. All right. Later. Good. No, you were saying. Yeah, no. I mean, I don't know. Well, what do you think about about that though? Like, right? do you think Ruiz get, would get him in the rematch, or do you think Zayha? If he boxes him? smart, if he boxes smart, yeah. Yeah. See, that's that's Zayha, the thing with Zayha Ruiz. Is so, Zayha is flat-footed, but he can punch like hell. Ruiz can move a little bit more. Yeah. He just it's, it's all on Ruiz to help. I mean, shit, he dropped Seha with a pretty nice check hook in that first fight. That was, yeah. a, that was a nice one that he, that he hit him with. That's why I was really surprised when Seha finally knocked him out. But uh, Ruiz has a habit of getting lazy in fights. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to find the first fight on YouTube, EJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might just do that. Oh, yeah, I might just do that. Watch the first fight and see. Was it really good? It yeah. was. One of the fights of the year last year, actually. Okay, I'm like, okay, I might have seen it and just, just no, okay, I'm going to do that right now and put that in my watch because I've got Marco Hawk, I've got a couple of fights. It's, it's, um, it's for the belt that um, Santa Cruz actually vacated, so. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that right now, man. I'm going to see that right now. I'll tell you, man, I'll tell you this boxing thing, man, it, it, these matchups and stuff like that, yeah, and like, when people are not real champions, this is what happens, man. I hope Joshua and Martin, oh, yeah, I've found it. Joshua and Martin, huh? PVC fight, so PVC fight as well. Not, not only well, that, got, but when they got, when they we build, got when they, and Lomachenko, so it's something to look forward to. When they when they build stuff up too much too, then it gets like this too. Cause it's almost like the fighters they get in there and they get so nervous because it's like they think the other guy might actually get them and uh, it's it, like to me it's like the, these guys they get into their own heads because the people have been getting giving them way too much attention for a fight that doesn't deserve it. Hey yo, um, I just heard that uh. Deontay Wilder and Povetkin finalized their deal. Yeah, anybody heard, heard anything about that? Could confirm? No, tell I just, us. I, 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 it's, yeah, huh? I just heard that Povetkin's folks won the purse deal. That's all I heard. Yeah, what'd you yeah. hear? Uh, uh, Coach Shelton what do you hear? put it out there that they, they signed the deal and and uh, Deontay is um, definitely going to, to Russia to go fight. So I'm just wondering if there's anything backing that up. Whoa. He's, he's going mm -hmm. to Russia? Yeah. I wouldn't do that if I were him. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. That's, that's what he's about, man. I don't know why everyone's surprised. He has to, man. He has to. He can't give the bell up, Mike. He can't do it. He ain't gonna lose, yeah, that, like he'll, he'll lose face in a major way because people are already you know, trying to accuse him of ducking even though the one that's postponed it so far has been Pavekian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even though Pavekian's the one with the entire history of ducking Vladimir Klitschko for four and a half years. There was no way that's not in his character to, 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 to give up that belt. I don't know why people actually thought that. Yeah. Fire, he's, he's not going to Riddick, he's he's not gonna Riddick bow the belt, man. He's not going to Riddick bow the belt. I'm just surprised that Hain, that uh, PBC or his representative didn't put up more money in the purse bid. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if they think he might be a little more expendable than we think. I mean, yeah, well, if they really believe it, if they really good, believe in a man, that's, that's they should have put up more money in that purse bid yesterday. Yeah. That's some good news you just gave there. Because that makes me smile. That's something, that's something to smile about, man. We can go over there. So now they just need to finalize what drug test they're going to do. And then everything will be okay. 
I mean, it depends yeah, on what man. drug testing system they use because it's some. Um, Wada just, gonna have to take over, man. That that yeah. that that Russian whatever Rada whatever they got going on that over Rada, there. That Rada, I don't believe him. I don't trust. Nah, him. man. Well, <laughs> yeah, who I did they don't. use for Vladimir Klitschko? Because I know that was a big that was a big tie up when Vlad was was uh, negotiating with him. Yeah, because they that both wanted a... to use their own their own right. um, drug testing. Yeah, Pavekin wanted. Yeah, why? Well, I, I know. I, I just know that Vladimir bit. refused to use Rosada because he didn't trust him. I mean, rightfully so. But <laughs> I, I, I knew that was the case for him. So, and we know how Pavekin's looking recent fights. His body just done changed. Well, if you look at how he looks in Russia versus when he's outside of it, I mean, that's. I mean, his body has just transformed. Yeah, it looks like he's on something. Yo, Dan, Dan, you there? Yep. Yo, what's up, man? What's your take, bro? Um, Wilder Povetkin? Yeah, that. Go ahead. Yeah, I haven't heard anything yet as far as the contracts. All I know is right now is that was a pretty low bid what they got, like $7 million from Povetkin's team. That was a really, really wow. low bid. And Heyman, I think, put out like $5.1 million for it, and they just beat that out. I like what the WBC is doing, though, like putting 10% of that bid on escrow so the winner can actually get that extra 10% on top of that 70-30 split. Yeah, that's cool. Yo, what's your favorite of Frampton? Frampton, quick of Frampton? Oh, man. Oh. Y'all waited five years for that. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Who you have No, Frampton won just Frampton won the early rounds just because he actually used the jab. I what what? Okay, I want to know what Quick I was actually thinking during this. He should have started that. You got doggy? Is that your dog in the background? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, wait up. Give him a bullet on side like that, you know. Give something. Yeah. Yeah. Even she was barking at the TV, but. Oh man, I want to know why? Why did Quick wait until so late to start a body attack? He should have done that in round one, and he probably would have knocked out Frampton if he did that early. Yeah, he was too shook, too shook of that hand speed. Oh man, that that was just like, and that was a pay per view fight in Britain, right? Yeah, I didn't pay for. I I I, I wasn't gonna pay for it. No way, man. I, I got a question, EJ. I got a question with you being in the UK live and stuff. And just everybody else can chime in. I was asked this on Twitter via uh, DM. And the question was, will folks chastise and criticize this fight in the same way that Mayweather and Pacquiao was criticized? No. No. No, they won't do that. No. Because they're both liked. And then the day. Um, they, they haven't built their career on, on touring and stuff like that. They've been quite respectful. Well, and to be fair, I mean, the last few rounds were better than anything that, that Pacquiao was able to do against Mayweather. So, you know, that was just a yeah, shame. But that, that fight was different, man, because he's, you know, Mayweather, yeah. they're different personalities. Clark Hampton and that, they, 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 um, they're quite respectful to each other other than that. But they were, that, that, that was never going to be the case. They're not going to diss it that badly. I'm just going to say, like, it, you know, this to be on all fairness, it was a domesticated fight where we made a world title fight. None of the like the only real champion to me was all, only Carl, Carl Frampton and uh, Scott Quigg. You know, the matchmaking and stuff like that. If you look, the thing is, if if they was to fight Regal, like Regal's the best in the division, then you can have some scale how good they are. But when you saw that fight as what you saw, they're not as good as what maybe people tout them out to be. And if they was to fight Regal, I don't think any of them be favored to fight Regal. None of them, bro. No way, man. I agree with you, EJ. There's no way. You, you guys are American, man. You guys in America, man. You, you, you're going to tell it how it is, man. I, I, that's why I get, I mean, I'm telling you how it is. That one was domesticated, and it, B said it was European. I said, no, nah, it's not. It's not even British and British and Commonwealth. That's what that, that level was right there. And it was made to be a world title fight. You can't have... How many rounds they're staring at each other from round, um, what's it, from round one to round six? They're basically just looking at each other, throwing little jab, pity patted. You can't do that. It's a world title fight. Yeah. People are paying a lot of money. The whole stadium's packed. You got an American audience watching. Can't do that. 
no, no one's really gonna go in it and say the truth, but that's what it was, man. Oh man, even the Showtime people were like that when, when they were talking about it after the fight, they were looking at. They were, one of them said, "I feel bad for the person that has to play the replay chart because we have to yeah, sell he, this fight to them." <laughs> yeah, he said up to the last up up into the last three rounds, he was they was wondering how they want to sell the replay. Yeah. I mean, look, they say the UK back we back our fight as we do, but, bruh, Eddie Hearns, Eddie Hearns, the number one spin doctor. <laughs> Sometimes it works, like quit, like um, uh, Carl Froch and George Groves number two, and then sometimes it doesn't. And in this one here, it just didn't do it, man. It was a letdown, man. Even uh, look, um, Carl, there's a guy called um, Carl Carl Froch in the, in the chat. He said in his letdown, I'm sure he's from the UK. He probably agrees as well. As as a fan, as a fight fan. I'm not running to the TV to go watch that fight and say, "Yeah, man, what a great fight!" From round, to, I'd have to, I have to skip it until round ten to get my money's worth. So basically, from how many rounds is that? Is that like three rounds to get my money's worth of a fight? It's not right. Oh man, I, I feel Mike like Mikey. I feel bad for for the people that actually were thought that this was going to be Britain's Vasquez Marquez because that was the hype over never. here. Nah, never. I didn't think I didn't think that, but I thought it would be better than what I saw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What we got, I should say. What we got. Look, man, look, man. The panel doesn't lie. The energy on the panel right now is is subdued. Usually, we you should have heard us before the fight, man. You should have heard us a couple of hours ago. Everyone was hyped. This guy's. Well, and see, and the thing with Vasquez Marquez is those were the two best guys in the division at the time. Yeah, this is yeah. what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. These two are not even the best two in it. You know, they're not the best two. Like, Santa Cruz is there, Rigo's there. These are the, supposed to be the best guy. Rigo's the sky far above everyone. Like, Rigo well, was Santa Cruz is the next way up, but I mean... Rigo. Pretty much, anyway. About they going to fight Rigo. Yeah, you're nope. crazy. You, you, you are, if anybody really thinks that Al Heyman is going to do business with Jay-Z with all this shit that went on between Al Heyman and Jay-Z... Oh, so? No. What? Oh, that's oh, that's, oh, that's oh, the thing about Frampton. Frampton, people, uh, Frampton can have that fight. If Frampton just says after the fight, I want to fight them, then that. You that know what? M money talks and bullshit walks, man. Freaking uh, Al Heyman is doing business with Golden Boy right now. Please. And no, no, exactly, but that's if they, they, they come to the table right? with enough dough, anything can happen. Yeah, it's actually. There you go. That no one for me from Pacquiao wasn't gonna work. Look at it. Show everything. Yeah, exactly. Not, there's not money on the table. People will fucking make What's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, what is his name? Dominic Wade? Yeah. 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 He's an Al Heyman fighter. He's fighting on HBO right now. So he, he, anything he, can he, happen. Anything can happen. He, he's a mandatory, though. He's definitely a mandatory, but yeah. but HBO has drawn the sand in the line, the, the line in the sand saying that no Heyman fighters would be fighting on HBO, and it's happening, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's the, a new I don't know if there's that same personal history though, there, though. Huh? Yeah. There's that, it's the, not, the personal history ain't there between HBO and. I him mean, what and is the what is the personal him. history? I don't know anything about it. I mean, I, I think only them two really know about any personal history. Uh -huh. well, you know I mean, it has how deep it goes. It has, it has something to do with Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. No, he tried to rip off Beyonce for a good load of money using his dad. Yep. Yeah. And that's not only that. Like, remember, Heyman has issues with James Prince. If in a hip hop world, you know you do not fuck with James Prince whatsoever. Look, man, I I lived in Houston for a long time. I know who James Prince is. I know, man. That's why I I I would not want to mess with that dude at all. What, what you hear about that dude? What, what you hear about James Prince? No. He's a gangster, man. That's all I'm gonna James say. James Prince is a damn G. He's a G. He's a G. That's all I'm gonna say. Heyman is. He's a gangster and he's not to be played with. Yeah. Maybe maybe we used to mess with him as well. Yep. And and that's that's the thing with Mayweather too. I mean, he he, he, he took him. he took he, he basically took Mayweather from James Prince. Yeah. So did so did Roy Jones Jr. used to mess with James Prince. Right. His only his only client I know right now that's in the limelight is um Andre Ward. Yep. He. I, I, yeah, that's it. That's all I know. So far. I, he might have some other fighters, but Andre Ward is his only high-profile client. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, man. Hey, listen. Boxers yeah. always had characters running it, man. Man, <laughs> listen. Ask 50 about James Prince. You know. <laughs> well, 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 man. 
But what's Fifty gonna say? I mean, he's cool, man. I, I, I met him a few times and shit. He's cool, but, but don't cross doing him. business with doing business with him is a whole different thing. Don't cross that, brother. Nah. Nope. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nope. I'm not. I'm just gonna say nice things about James Prince. Yep. Nope. Because I value my life. <laughs> Even Scarface don't talk shit. He's <laughs> right. <laughs> and I know Scarface has had some some funny style business with him, and Scarface ain't saying shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if there's like when you mess with somebody like that, that, there's very very few things that can make them come back to business. And with HBO, it's a new regime. P it's Peter Nelson. Peter Nelson, I think, is pretty much open to any promoter. Because if we really gonna be honest with you, real talk, James Prince is the dude who gave Mayweather street cred. Yep. Let's be honest about that. Yep. Hey, Uma, Uma, unmute yourself, man. Uma just listening. Uma, who did Ben Uma? More than Heyman, more than anybody else, James Prince is the dude that gave Mayweather street cred. Yes, it's way back. Back when Floyd was in the Raekwon right, video. You know. I, I I didn't mess with rap a lot because I don't I didn't want to be indebted to him. <laughs> you know, man. I, I remember I remember going to the studios with my boys a couple of times and we 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 in there ciphering and dropping rhymes. I I, I see him coming and rubbing his hands, talk about him. He got some nice talent in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all like I'm like, this nigga. Nah, I'm going to advance you seven figures, and then you're going to pay me back in a timely manner, okay? I'm like, I, I, I ain't doing it. <laughs> with no limit, with no limit in cash money, we're oh, at shit. their very height. With no limit in cash money, we're at their very height. The one dude that they didn't cross. James Prince. Prince. Yep. Hey Uma, what's your take on the fight, man? And I know uh, swearing and no 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 calling people names. Go ahead. Man, I like everybody on the line right now. Ain't nobody gonna have to worry about me calling no names. Ah, the fight, bro, the fight. I'm talking about the fight, bro. What's your take on the fight? Um I thought the fight was pretty pretty straightforward. I gave the first I gave the first uh seven rounds to Frampton and I gave the eighth, the ninth, the tenth. And eleventh to Quig, and then I gave the twelfth to Frampton. and I had eight rounds of four, one sixty, one twelve, just like both of the uh the judges had it and the one judge that had it one fifteen, one thirteen. I don't know what he was smoking, but I mean it was pretty straightforward. You feel they gonna fight Rigo off though? Fuck no, man. They go, he gonna drop that WBA belt and he's gonna take his mandatory with the IBF. That's what I think he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, think he dro he dropping both belts. Honestly, I, I, this is the first time ever in my life that I watched the full Eddie Hearn call because I started watching the fights. I had nothing to do today, so I started watching the fights from one o'clock on, oh, and I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the other card better than I did the main event. Man, really, the other card was awful, man. That was the. I boy. seen. All right, well, I seen some. Gabby, some, some Gabby McDonald, that's the, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, I seen some kid named uh, Josh Taylor. He called. He called with the. I think he had four fights. This was his fourth fight. He fought a guy, some Arab guy that had like 27 fights. And he caught my man with the shoulder and then hit him with that pull counter and put him and slept him. I was liking that. I think that dude got some skills. And then I watched that that McCullough fight versus uh, Lowe. And Lowe won that uh, Commonwealth title. I thought that was a good scrap. And I, I enjoyed those two fights. But the rest of them. And then the, the other fights you was talking about, Gavin McDonald versus that uh, Panamanian dude. Yeah. I mean, it was one side of slide, but, you know, I mean, those fights were way more action packed, way more enjoyable, in my opinion. Like, I mean, it would, the skill level was low for the most part, but I think that Josh Taylor dude is going to be pretty good, man. From what I was watching him, I mean, he only had four fights. He's fighting a guy with damn near 30 fights. And the guy had never been fighting before, and he stopped him in the second round. Oh, man, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You, you sit a bit before you watch the fight? This this auction, because. You know what I mean? Nah, you know, man. Nah, yeah. man. What a fuck? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Nah, I, I'll give you two more. Like, you, you give credit to the UK because me, man, I, I, bro, I breeze them undercard fights, man. Because you can understand me more, right? You watched it for free, right? They were charging pay-per-view money to watch that fight. Now, I never paid. But I'm asking you, if you were to pay that money to watch them cards, I think you might have saw it differently. 
That was no, 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 no. First, first of all, even if I was living in England, I wouldn't have paid for that shit. That's what I'm trying I to would, think. I, so I'm did. Saying, I got that it. That was a pay per view card, you want. It wasn't that. It was a regular. That was a pay per view event. People paid anybody, money. Anybody on this line that got an Android phone, I got the the most. Gangsta app for y'all to watch these fights. I ain't gonna say it online because I don't want people to fucking cut us up, cut us off at the knees. But I tell y'all all after I watched all this shit for free. And I got an app where I can put it on my phone and stream directly to my smart TV. You know, I had to pay for nothing. Hey, man, hey, listen, fam. Hit, hit put me up put with that shit on bro. my Skype ASAP. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up with that message on Skype and on G Plus, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm I'm that. 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 That's how it's good. Sound good right there, but um, like I said, I'm looking forward to the fights later on. Atlanta, Crawford, um, Santa Cruz. I'm looking forward to their fights there. Right there. Maybe uh, you know, they won't do anything. Any, yeah, hey, yeah. Man, you guys, are, you guys are vibing, man. Carry on talking. In the, you guys can carry on burning air for a couple half an hour if you want. Unless you guys want to pull out, I don't know what you guys want to do, man. Did you guys do your predictions for the, the, the Hank Lundy and all that? Yeah, I did, man. You can do yours now if you want to. Well, I mean, I, you know you know, Hank Lundy done gave us a gang of interviews, and that's my man. So I, I, I got I to gotta root for Hank because he's steady giving us interviews. He's such a cool-ass dude. But I don't think he's going to win, but I'm rooting for him. That's fair. That's fair. You know he's going to lose. I already got Crawford going Crawford gonna to beat him, though. Uh, United's decision, I had it. I, I, I don't want to see him get knocked out, but all right. Mike, Me neither. I, I, I hope if he loses, it's just a unanimous decision. Crawford uh, going to beat the brakes off of this dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Natty, Natty and I disagree a little bit. Uh, Natty said he's going to stop him. I just think he's going to beat him up for 12 rounds. Oh, uh, man, like... Oh, oh, no, what? He might just punish him for twelve rounds and keep him up on his feet so he could punish him longer. I keep telling you, he's gonna do to him what what Whitaker did to Poli Diaz way back in the day, back in '91. Oh God, man, you gonna be doing like Ali? What's my name? What's my name? <laughs> oh man, I was thinking of that. Oh, what would you say about my wife, mother? What would you say about my wife? He got Ernie Terrell. I mean, Who's you that now? Me. Who look like a man now? <laughs> He's gonna do that for twelve rounds, bro. Yeah, I'm sure he probably yeah, will. Yeah. You gotta think, Crawford didn't down. stop. Uh, Crawford didn't stop Beltran, and Monday's about the same level. So, I mean, he'll probably do about the same to him. But Beltran got a Beltran got a good ass chin and a hard ass head. I don't. Lundy's chin is sometimes is kind of suspect. Yeah, man. L- L- Lundy been sparked before. It's, it wouldn't be the first time. I give him though. He's a tough out. I give Blundy that. He's a tough, tough out. You know he gets chinny once in a while. Yeah, cause that, that that's his only issue. He could fight, but when he gets clapped, you know what I mean. He could look like a pedestrian fighter, man. Yeah, that's my thing though. He's 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 too up and down. As I was saying when I was talking about him on my show, he's he's bipolar, man. He's bipolar when he fights. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You would think all that training he's been doing with Sean Porter and Kenny Porter would have helped him in some way, but when he went in the fought that Mauricio Herrera fight, I know it got stopped crazy early, but like he really didn't do much. Yeah, he did a little dance. <laughs> I remember that. that was yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, he didn't do, he didn't do. it wasn't enough of, of of a fight to see what where that fight was going, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, were, they were both. They were both barely getting started. They both like yeah. kind of glancing shots and little head butts here and there. The, and and Herrera was just complaining all the time and stopping the action and shit. Yeah. Herrera looked like he was in pretty bad shape for that fight too. To be honest, looked like he. Had just yeah, I mean that last cut. He they had to stop the fight based on yeah, how how, how how that that what what was it a lid or some shit like that? Yeah. It was this cut really bad. That should have been. That, that fight should have been a no contest. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it should have been. I'm just looking forward to Lomo and Walters. That's all I'm looking forward to coming up. Well, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm only looking forward to that if it's at 130 where it belongs because I don't want to see a weight during Walters in there. I, 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 I hate seeing when fighters make these big fights, quote-unquote big fights, and they have to drain their opponent in order to feel safe because they can't fight the real version of the guy. You but know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Axe Man is my guy, man. But he might have painted himself into a corner in this particular fight because he keeps on saying he can make the weight. 
So I would not be surprised if Lomo takes him up on that offer. And well, see, and if he does that, that's the biggest mistake he can make because he's going to go in there sluggish. I can so. see a catch rate on this. I can see like a 128. Because let's face it, if if Walters beats Lomachenko that weight, Lomachenko still keeps his belt. I mean, that would be the best of both worlds for both guys. But yeah, that would be the best know. thing to do, but he keeps on saying it, man. And if, if, if Lomachenko is smart, Lomachenko would be like, sure, come on. <laughs> you know, I believe in the axe man, though. I believe him. Yeah. He was talking about how he had the flu and he was sick. He just yeah. put on extra weight. I believe him. I think he's going to be uh, really strict and really tight with his diet. Well, I mean, so yeah, if, I mean, 20, he, he wasn't that heavy. He wasn't that heavy in his last fight. He didn't blow up that much after after weighing on on the night of the fight. Yeah, in comparison, you're actually right. You're actually yeah. right. I believe he's gonna he's gonna be on it. Be he, be disciplined. So even if the fight is at 126, he's gonna get down to it and, and be rather comfortable. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna just have to take his word for it. He keeps on saying it, but you know he has been making this weight since since he was an amateur. So What's the fight? We'll have the, fight's April, the fight's April 16th. He's got six weeks to make the weight. Yeah. Nobody knows that. Stay day. the hell out of Jamaica. Do not go home. <laughs> yeah, go to Panama. Go to Panama. Stay your ass in Panama. Yeah. Hell, yeah, he was it was time for the fight, man. He was 145 fight night for Mariaga, and he was 141 fight night for Sosa. So, yeah, so, so there you go. Goes in there. If he goes in there and he's healthy, then I, I will, I'll pick him. But if he's not, then I, I can't do it. I'm just waiting on a network announcement because Aaron keeps dangling this Showtime card on him. I, I just want to see one of Bob Aaron's guys get put to sleep. I don't, I don't really care which one of them it is. <laughs> just one of them. Any one of them. I don't care. Wait a minute. I'd like to see Felix Crawford's an Aaron guy. Yeah. Crawford's an Aaron guy. I, I, want, I want Crawford to win now. Well, beside, well, I like Crawford, but the rest of his, I just don't like Bob Arum, but I don't want to see Crawford put to sleep either. Yeah, and like as, at the moment, the Axeman is an Arum guy, but he don't get treated like it, though. Right. Well, cause he, he, was trying, he was trying to sign with Hammond last year. That's why That's why Arum has been matching him with puncher after puncher after, you know, Mariaga was a puncher, uh, but this guy Sosa was a puncher. You don't see Lomachenko getting matched with those guys. You don't see Sosa, you don't see Lomachenko getting matched with guys that look like Salido. Because he's not he's not promoting the guy right, so he has to work, look out for his best interest, man. There's not a lot of opportunities in Jamaica, fam. No, no, no but I was talking about I was talking about the fact that he's matching Walters with dangerous guys. He's matching Lomachenko yep. like a soft shoe with powder puffs. I see what yeah. you're talking about, but yep. that, like I'm saying, he has to he has to go out for his own interest, though. So if Aram has a problem with that, you need to be you know what I'm saying promoting him better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how much. I don't know how much bread the Axe Man got in the, in the bank account, but if he got a little bit of paper, he need to buy himself out of that contract and, you know, go make yeah. his own way. Come on, man. Make some fights in, 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 in the Barclays, man. Make some fights in, in Miami, you know what I mean, where, where the West Indian population is huge. And promote Shit. that, man, to the West Shit. Indian community. If oh, he comes man. around my way, I'll be there. I'll be there. Definitely. Yeah, if, they, if they do it in Barclays, I think that would be perfect, to be honest. Yeah, man. This is Brooklyn, a.k.a. Little Caribbean, Little West Indies. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The whole Flatbush will come out and see him. Yeah, fam. Shit. Yep. Like, like these, these promoters kill me because it's easy to figure where certain um, demographics are in this country. Like, it's, it's easy to look at a map and figure, all right, we got a large Caribbean... Uh, base here, so this is where we want to stage these fights. So why are you putting these guys in crazy places that they don't belong? Like, why is Rigondale fighting in Texas? He should be fighting in Miami. Him? Because fighting in Miami what? sounds too much like right with these promoters. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no like, it should be done. It should be done this way, dude. Rigondale should be fighting in Miami. Yeah. Yep. should be fighting in Miami. Luis Ortiz should be fighting in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they they do, but again, it sounds too much like right for these promoters. Well, I mean, unless yeah. unless they have opponents that draw bigger than them, then fight than the other guys. You know what I'm saying. Oh man, and could you imagine Luis Ortiz now a fight in Miami? If you want to see all, if you want to see Nicaraguans and Cubans actually united in Miami for once, put Luis Ortiz in American Airlines Arena. See, for the heavyweight title of the world. 
He'll get that too. He'll Just get that too. The population, the Hispanic population for like Caribbean Hispanics, let's say, in Miami is very high. That's yeah. where you want them to be. Like, it's well, you know, if, there, it's if, um, do you know? Do you know that um, maybe about ten years ago? Uh, Glenn Goffey Johnson and Richard Hall fought in Miami and damn near sold out the arena. Yeah, we're yeah, talking see, about Richard yeah. Hall and Glenn Goffey Johnson. Yep. Yeah, see, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. That's why I love my city, man. That's why I love That's what I'm talking about, fam. I don't, I don't understand why for Mexican fighters, Central American fighters, they know what to do to them with them and have them fight at the right places to market it. To, to to utilize their marketability, but they can't do it for Caribbean fighters. They can't yeah, do it for West man. Indian fighters. It, it, like, it makes no sense. I'm, I'm, looking for at, I'm looking at Nicholas Walters' career, and it's like it's, it's starting to look like Mike McCallum all over again. Right. Oh no. Exactly. Oh, like no, the only Caribbean, the only Caribbeans they know how to market is fucking Puerto Ricans. That's, That's it. it. And that's that's so simple. You just put them in New York. It's not even rocket science, yeah. Yeah, just put them in New York and just close your eyes, and you're gonna get people in there. But it, but it, you you could do that with Cubans too. Yeah, yeah you you can. It would be. Very I, I'm like, yo, like Bob Arum sound like such an idiot sometimes when he was, when Rico was with him and he was talking about how hard it was to market him and all of that bullshit he was saying. Like, why is he playing in Radio City Music Hall, dumbass? Well, you know, there's actually there's actually a fair there's actually a fair bit of Cubans in um, I mean, in, both in Texas and in Cali too. A lot of people don't know that, but I mean, Jersey, of course, the whole base is Florida, but yeah, too. Like in Houston, where I used to live, it was mostly El Salvadorians and Mexicans. Yeah, it is. It's great. It, it's over flooded. It, I'm not, it's over flooded with Mexicans in uh, well, Texas. But thing, it's like I'm saying though. Like it, it really depends on the opponent. Like say if it was uh, Rican Dow against like Santa Cruz or something, you know, like that. Then it makes sense to have it. Like maybe like in Vegas. Go to California, the Staples Center or some shit like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, yeah then it makes sense because uh, yeah. Leo Santa Cruz is gonna put asses in the seats already. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But if you want to build, like if you want to build Rigan Dow when he's fighting some nondescript ass fighter. You yeah. put him in his home like his base. Last guy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You, you don't put yeah. him in Vegas. You, you put him, well, I, I know why he's in Vegas. He's on the undercard or Canelo or whatever, but yeah. any other non script fight, you put him in Miami, where his yeah. fans are, where his I mean, people you, are. I mean, you can like they, They've done this for Rancis Bartholomew before PBC has. I mean, yep. yeah. No, at, they, uh, they did pretty good with that one, too. Uh, yep. look, at, look at look at look at Gonzalez, Roman Gonzalez, who a lot of people feel is the best pound for pound fighter. I disagree. I still got Ward. I may be alone in that, but that's another subject for another day. No, you HBO got Kevin in that too, Mike. HBO takes a uh, investment, in, uh, invest in him, an interest in him. What do they do? Uh, they put him in the forum. Large population there. People come out to see him in droves. Then what do they do? They bring him to uh, New York, large population. A lot of folks can, can go out and see him as well. They're bringing him back to the forum. How come someone can't do the same thing with Walters? Because they don't really want to bring, bring him to New York. Bring him to Bobby. Miami. Anywhere and, 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 and a lot of that is, is Gonzalez is basically being put on Golovkin's. Let me, let me tell you where, where, where you, should, you need to bring Walters. All right? Go to London. Or Birmingham, England, Toronto, Canada, Miami, Florida, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Well, and the so thing I is, in each, of, in each of those locations, have him fight a hometown guy too. Put him. Put Walters, exactly. You'll get, put to, you'll get put it, you'll Walters, extra fans. Put Walters in Toronto doing the Caribbean festival during the summer. Do you know how big of a crowd he would draw? Oh Jesus! Doing Caravana? Oh shit! Man, <laughs> that whole crowd will show up. All of them. Yeah, they're drunk, they'll show up all drunk. They'll show up drunk, <laughs> eating cocoa bread, ready to watch a fight. Oh man! Ch oh, chocolatito in Miami would be so great. It was so. Well, great. you know, they, well, I, I know they're supposed to be putting him in his, on his own cards. If they were to match him with Luis Ortiz in Miami, that would be perfect. Yeah. That would be perfect. Yeah, you got a big ass Cuban and Nicaraguan. Like I said. If yeah. you do that, yeah, then all the Cubans and all the Nicaraguans, yeah. they'll show up. They like that's when our, that's where our was, was hot back in the day. Arguello was was selling it back in the day over there. Yep. 
I just it's think that these many. promoters, are, these promoters are being purposely uh, selective. Let's just put it that way when it comes to certain fighting. That, 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 Maybe I'm being conspiratorial here, but that's just me. It's bad for business. And if they want, to, they want to ruin their own business. That's the. I mean, that's it, to me, it's pretty obvious, man. That's the irony of it. That's the irony sure. because you know it's like they'd make more money doing it the other way, you know, and they. Exactly. And they'd make more money on both sides too, because then you'd have a bigger star, you know, you'd have two stars, so to speak. Say like, I mean, look, look what happened when they brought fucking Terrence back to Omaha. This motherfucker sold out that arena twice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where, he, that's where he belongs fighting, man. And I mean, the, on, the only way, the only way he doesn't belong fighting there is if he's fighting a bigger name outside of there. Like if he would have been fighting Pacquiao. Yeah, you can fight Pacquiao anywhere. It don't matter, but. Like, like he's fighting in New York tonight. I understand that trying to expand it, maybe see how they do in New York. Fair enough. But after that, well, when they, they, they got Verdejo, they got Verdejo on the card, so yeah. that's the reason. Exactly. Got him in New York. Gonna sell tickets. Yeah, that's that's basically who they're trying to sell Crawford to to the, to the Puerto Rican fans. They're not gonna buy it though, because a good lo- whole a whole crap load of them are just gonna leave after Verdejo. They were like, hey, all right, but they got their That's what yeah, that's bonus. what they did to Nick. That's what they did to Nick. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, like uh, after Verdejo fought, they was out of there and yep. missed the best fight of the night. Twenty-five <laughs> percent of them are gonna leave. Like people, like people, like my man Boogie Down Sean. I know he's going tonight. He gonna stay because he's a boxing fan. But most most Puerto Ricans, they just coming in to see Verdejo. Then they gonna dip. Speaking I, of Verdejo, I, speaking of Verdejo, uh, Daniel and I were talking about this on my show. Uh, the comparison with Cotto, some people are comparison with Cotto, people are comparison with Trinidad. To me, am I wrong for being a little bit skeptical of, of Verdejo? No, no, no I think well I think, around 20 plus fights, but when is he going to step up and fight someone? Uh, I think, I think they're, purposely, they're purposely holding him back because they know that there's something wrong with him. And as soon as that shit gets exposed, it's going to be ugly. Verdejo's the comparisons are blasphemous at this, upon, this this point in his career. Blasphemous. Yeah. You can't compare him to Cotto or Tito at this point. I mean, I'm just saying I'm, I'm looking at the records and look at who Cotto was fighting in his 19th, 20, 21st well, bout. Hell, Tito, Tito, at his 20th bout, he destroyed Maurice Blocker to win a world title. And then Aaron... But Aaron and it's not like the lightweight division is that strong. Nope, it's not. But Mike, look at what Aaron said like earlier today. I think he said Verdejo is more popular now at this point in his career than Cotto is. That's by design because unfortunately Puerto Ricans have been looking for an heir not to Cotto, an heir to Tito. Because a whole lot of them don't like Cotto. Because even if we understand all the circumstances, they see him as he surrendered to Margarito. And they don't want to forget that. They don't want to forget that he technically surrendered to a Mexican. Well, there's that, and then and then when they stepped him up again to Pacquiao, he got knocked out, and then he he failed against Mayweather, and then finally he fails against Canelo, you know, and Trout, and so that all counts against him. I mean, I heard from what I've been hearing from the Puerto Ricans, I know today, Cotto's kind of an asshole. Oh well, yeah, that, I mean that that that's a big part of it too. Yeah. So I mean, the thing is, if you're if you're not a, if you're not a, if you're not a sympathetic figure, then when you lose, nobody's gonna give a shit. They're gonna be like, "Good, fuck you." And, and he don't fly the flag like that. I mean, he he's Puerto Rican, but he don't be like, "Yeah, I'm doing this for Puerto Rico. I'm doing this yeah. for the Boricuas." He's well, not, he's not on overly. That. He's not overly yeah. nationalistic. You're saying that. Exactly. Yeah, like, he, like Tito was like Tito freaking like you'd see him. Yeah. He was, like, <laughs> He was dancing Tito on the, the, the Puerto Rican shit. flag, fam. Tito. <laughs> I mean, you see how they reacted with, with Hopkins uh, threw that flag down at that point. <laughs> oh, 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 that fight almost went down immediately. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, Hopkins was disrespectful in that press conference, man. And that in that whole build-up, he was just disrespectful. They dude. ran Hopkins out the building, man. Oh, oh man. man, and he did the shit in Puerto Rico. Yep. Hi, hey, what? He's a gangster. Where he's are you gangster. running to? He's a gangster. He's running to the airport. He's he's way right. better, 
Not come I mean, on, what kind of balls do you? Man, that was oh man. What like, kind no, of no, ball, no, what no, kind no, of no. balls that you have to have? They like no pause. Get, giving the man rice and beans and shit. I'm like, what I mean, the fuck? <laughs> no, no pause. On, but man. what kind of balls do you have to have to do something like that? No pause. Ugh, I don't know, man. It's it's the balls of I just got out of the I got out of the penitentiary not too long ago. I ain't scared to go back. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> this is crazy. But I think another problem Puerto Ricans have with Kodo is because he's always wearing that pink shit. He's always rubbing on that fat dude. <laughs> you know what? I want to go there. I want to go there, but <laughs> Ben, yeah, you are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> I wasn't trying. I wasn't going to go there, but but since you brought it up, <laughs> yeah, might as well. It's out there. <laughs> Oh man, like I don't want to stand too close to that. Yeah, that, that. That relationship's a little bit suspect, but I don't care what nobody tell me. Uh, I think that's the relationship is guilty. Fuck suspect. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yo, it's like y'all not even hiding it, fam. Y'all on the on the twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? Just flirting yeah, and shit. What the hell? Episode <laughs> said that during training camp he can't sleep without him or some shit. They slept in the same bed. Yeah, like, huh? Uh, Is that a mistranslation? What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now he now he does, but back then, you know, I was like, does somebody who speaks Spanish can can y'all really trans? Did he really just say that? <laughs> he did. Yeah, I speak Spanish my first language, and when I saw that, I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 well, think about well, let's think about this, guys. There's a reason why his wife keeps keeps trying to keeps trying to dress like J Lo every single fight. Trying to keep him interested. Yeah. Sure. I'm telling you right now, Kodo's wife wouldn't have trouble keeping me interested. That all that Man, technique. Yeah. But she, I, 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 I remember why, watching the Canelo me. fight. I, I was kind of distracted. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, think, I think she's looking to distract. She's like, I'm like, yo, stop, stop panning to her, man. What are you I doing? Mean, I'm trying to, she's, she's, trying to tell, uh, she's trying to tell me, yo, you don't need to be fighting in there with them, with him. You need to be over here with me, man. I mean, in, a, in a contest between her and, my, and James the girl's sister, I don't know. Oh, James the girl's sister. Uh, yeah, Jen, no, James the girl's sister is pound for pound number one. She's uh, number one. She's yeah, true. she's the truth. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I want to my wife ain't here. Uh, <laughs> I, I, he was mentioning Daniel. Um, uh, Trouble East is fighting on um, PBC because I know that's Ben's boy. Who that? Yeah, I've been waiting to see him fighting. Yeah. Trouble East is Trouble East is fighting on PBC or something like that. Hopefully. What date? Oh, when? I think I remember um, uh, when I was on your show, uh, Daniel, you was mentioning him how uh, Trouble Easton was fighting soon on PBC. If he's still around. Let me see. Oh, I'm trying to I think he's on mute. He's on mute. Y'all y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, now we do. Okay, I'm trying to figure I'm trying to remember what day it is. But Who's he fighting? It's, it's good for something because then PBC needs to put something out for the love of God, man. I think they're taking it easy this year. I think they're going to try to put on quality over quantity this year. They kind of got no choice when they only got twenty eighty two million in the bank now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, they, they, they do, do well. Because I, I, like, I want these free fights. I want these free fights. I know. I, I understand man, that. What, what I, y'all I think about team. all the fight cancellations, man? That one? Oh, man. Okay, first of all, I understand why they tried to save it and go to go to Showtime. I also understand why they canceled it. It's too little time to promote it. It's not. It's too little time to go shifting it from from. It's gonna be Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter to now. Okay, we're gonna showcase Scary Rosa Jr. Mm -hmm. You're you're doing that in about two or three weeks, and you're taking it from CBS to Showtime. So I understand why they canceled it. It's just unfortunately a bad look because. <laughs> And why is Gary Russell fighting so so little? He fought like a year ago. Yeah, man, that that that's not a good look for him. Yeah, no, I think yeah. he has hand problems. 
His nah, fan base is already in the toilet. I think and he nobody, has and, and they just not publicizing the shit. He might have a short career. He got them Paulie Malinaji fists. He got that speed though. I'll give him that. Yeah, he got speed, but he got bad hands. Yeah. Um, I mean they were they were looking to match him with Oscar Escondon, and actually I thought that was a terrible matchup for him. I think Escondon would get him. But him, like I said, him. Hell. I, I want to see Abner Morris fight again. Evan Rodriguez, I don't give the fucks about right now, but... Well, uh, Mars Martial was a good-ass fight. I, I, I like yeah. that. I like watching La Bamba. Yep. Uh, I, I don't watch him anytime. Uh, La Bamba made... <laughs> well, shit, that, that fight last year that he had with... What, what was that dude's name? I don't know. The, the black dude that was shoulder rolling. I don't know his name, yeah. but that was a good-ass <laughs> oh, fight. Man, that shit was like like fight night round three, like live on TV, man. <laughs> <laughs> he did, like, he did the haymaker over and over again. Yeah, that was a go. I thought Labamba was done in the first round. I thought it was a wrap. Yeah, man, that was good. All right, but the, all those all those fights are luckily they're not dissolved. They're gonna move it to different dates. We gotta figure out what date though. Man, apparently Keith Thurman got knocked out by airbag. So who the hell knows what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus, man! How I, wonder, like I, wonder, I, I wonder if Thurman's got issues a little bit upset with PBC. That's my thing. The, how many conspiracy theories are there about this? Like I've heard, like okay, yeah, they're trying to just hype up the fight more because they weren't selling tickets. It, there's that. There's the fact that I think Thurman. People are saying that Thurman's just trying to run out his contract with Heyman, so just waiting it out. I don't know why he'd do that. I mean, they've been they've been. They've been giving him some good matchups in the West, and, I mean, they've been paying him like hell. If he leaves Heyman, where is he going? Oscar. <laughs> He'll go to Oscar immediately. Oscar ain't got, Oscar ain't got no welterweights. He's got Oscar. Like welterweights. Exactly. What? That's why. <laughs> That's why. He needs welterweights. Oscar will just throw him money. Like, look, hey, Saddam Ali's going to win this title. He's just, gonna be, he's just now going to beat the crap out of Saddam Ali. You fight Saddam Ali, you make it a unification fight. Saddam's my uh, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I'm just gonna take his word for it un, un, until I hear different. Cause car wrecks happen all the fucking time. Yeah, I mean that's all you can really do. I mean, yeah, if anything, I mean, there's a possibility it, they may be overblowing it. Yeah, yeah, but I need to see. I need to see. He ain't giving me no race. reason to think he's doing anything funny style. But still, well, I, 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 I want I, I want to see Flute Boy in the ring fight someone. Yes. <laughs> he, was probably, he was probably playing that flute when he was driving. Oh my God! I seen that gift of that too. Somebody put a gift of that on his car. Did somebody have Keith Thurman playing the flute at the same time? Like this is how the crash happened. That's fucked up. Yeah, I, I, I know sometimes to give give Jesse Vargas that work. It should be a good fight. It should be a good fight. I know he had a lot of trouble with. What was I want to see. Thing? I want to see Saddam Ali kick Jesse Vargas' ass all over that ring. Oh, I really do. His feet. Always you don't get caught. Don't get caught. Jesse Vargas hadn't tops hadn't stopped talking since that Bradley bout. I want somebody to shut him up. Did they decide what that fight was? Because I know Jesse Vargas was saying he refused to fight in New York. No, they're fighting in D.C. D.C., yeah, the armory. Shit, I'm not driving down to the fucking armory. That's too far. Well, let's see, yeah, because let's see. Saddam Ali said he wasn't going to fight in Vegas, yeah, and Vargas said he wasn't going to fight in New York. So there's like, okay, D.C. could compromise. And we'll put Luis Ortiz over there so everybody can watch <laughs> It's not even a good compromise for Vargas because a lot of people from New York won't drive down to D.C. It's only a five-hour drive for fucking the West Coast. It's like 15, 16 hours. Whatever. I mean, Vargas doesn't really like necessarily have that big of a following outside of Vegas anyway. Yeah, he really don't. Can we blame Ali, though? Can, how many gift decisions has Vargas gotten in Vegas now? Way too many. <laughs> Nobody blames him. Nobody blames him. And quite frankly, he should have been fighting Bradley anyway because he never took any step aside money. At all. At all. He's been saying, like, no, motherfucker, you got to fight me. And and Bradley's like, no, I'm going to fight Pacquiao. 
I knew Bradley wasn't going to take that fight, not because he was scared of anything. It's just because Bradley about his paper at this point. He ain't, he ain't worried about no damn Saddam Ali, no Saddam, my boy, but he ain't going to take that fight when he can make eight, nine million fighting Pacquiao. Yeah. Well, and, then if he, and then if he wins, he's got bigger things ahead, too. Exactly. So I, I can't I can't even call that a dunk. I just got to call that smart business. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, contract-wise, yeah, I can agree, yeah, because his wife made sure he, he was getting paid no matter what. And frankly, the Pacquiao fight is the only fight where you can justify him making that money. Well, I mean, of course, she's getting half of that money too, right? Exactly. Bradley, Bradley, made, Bradley made a good choice marrying that fat Mexican, man, because that Mexican about her business. Nah, this is no Jen Mosley we're talking about here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that little Asian girl was the worst. She was in pockets. I'm just saying, she, she, yeah, she didn't, she didn't do right. Took all that dude's money. Oh man. Is it is at least in worse shape than Roy Jones right now, where Roy Jones has to fight an internet pay per view, so somebody will win a hundred grand trying to beat him. Oh my God, I fight Roy right now for a hundred grand. <laughs> Man, look, yeah, look, look Ben, like you a you a you a big dude, you a big brother. You could probably you could take him out now. No, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell Roy, give me about six weeks, but he got to come down to 147. <laughs> <laughs> Roy hit you with that left toe, be like, you must have forgot. <laughs> exactly. Not exactly. at no damn 147. <laughs> Roy, Roy going to look like a stick figure coming down to 147. <laughs> Man, you're trying to make Roy look like a new ball. Come on. Hell uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna blow on Roy. He gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> mean shit. If Roy can make if Roy can make heavyweight still. I fight him. He'll kick my ass, but I fight him. I'm sure he probably walks around about 200. Yep. Shit. Well, didn't didn't he say the fan has to win the fight in order to win the money or some dumb shit like that? No, nah, so. like the California people aren't even gonna let him. They're like, like, no, no, no. You have to fight somebody that actually has a pro record because we're gonna sanction this as a legitimate fight. <laughs> Yeah. So it's gonna be probably less. Like because if Roy hits some freaking invalid and kills him, then it's gonna be on there. I mean, there. between can, that, can and, they and, do and, it as an exhibition? It is an exhibition. It, <laughs> He's fighting. Nah, it. like let, let the let the opponent wear headgear and shit like that, and call it an exhibition and not count as an actual fight. Nah, because they're doing too already. They're doing too much bullshit already in the undercard. Like supposedly, Ken Shamrock is gonna be there, like in in an actual MMA fight. And really? Yeah, they're wow. doing that. Ken Shamrock, have... who just got his ass beat yep. by an old man. Uh, <laughs> by Royce Gracie beat, beat him dick. up. Yeah, yeah. He, need him, he need him in the face and kicked him in the dick and just fucked him up. Man, Let me tell right. this... you know what? Between Let me American. tell you something. I saw that shit, and I saw the replay. Now, he, 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 need, him, he need him in the groin first, right? He didn't react yeah. at all. Yeah, then he but reacted he, once the fight got stopped. He re, he he reacted after the headshot. Yeah, after he got kneed in the face. <laughs> when he got kneed in the face, that's when he's yeah. like, "Oh shit, I'm wobbly. I gotta do something. Get yeah, the to come save me. Get the fuck out of here. You got your ass whooped again." <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he's three and zero against, against Royce Gracie. So anybody, anybody when he was younger that used to watch fucking WWE, he ain't the world's dangerous man no more when he used to wear that nah, blue shit. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 Get nah, out of nah, my nah. way. Man, nah, that was nah. the worst. You see, that's why I don't watch MMA, man. That was the worst shit I ever seen in my yeah. life. Especially the Kimbo Slice shit. That was just horrible. The funniest thing, though, is, is those, those freak show ass fights are getting better ratings than the actual UFC fights now. Man, that was just oh, bad. B, that was just bad. I, 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 I cannot. Let, I can't. I, re, I, can't I refuse can't. to acknowledge stuff like that. I refuse to acknowledge it. I let I people to me into watching that shit. I don't know how I got tricked into watching that garbage. I was <laughs> so angry. Wasn't no boxing on TV, and you wanted to see some punching. <laughs> you yeah, wanted to see much. somebody get punched now. in the face. Oh man, I, there's I can't been no boxing that. happening really this month, and. I'm just saying, yeah. Black History Month and no boxing happening. I'm offended. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. There, there, there's um, what's in, what's in, what, what's that PBC card on Tuesdays? Uh, Tuesday night fights, yeah. Yeah, there, there's that. That's been going on. 
But today uh, still, this is Black History Month, man. This is some BS, man. This is some bull. Well, today's the 27th, and we're getting, we're getting some fights. Even though the card in England was all all white, closest thing to a black man was a Panamanian dude. It's all <laughs> <laughs> we got some fights today. I don't even care, man. As long as we got some type of boxing. Yeah, it's about time the the schedule start picking up now. Yep. Oh, but Jesus, man, I I can't I can't defend Kim Wondata. As a Miamian, I should defend it, but I can't. I, I fucking can't, man. Mike, you saw you saw when I pointed that out, dude. You I made you watch that video, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, you need to apologize for that shit. You need to apologize. <laughs> oh. That was the worst fight. That was hard, but they were tired in literally 30 seconds. I never seen no shit like that. I went literally on one night. Like, wait, did somebody take Dala to the Fritangas before they fought? Cause that fool will put you to sleep. But come on. He went to um. He was in the hospital in like a coma, or some shit, or intensive care, or some shit for like two weeks after that fight. I don't know what happened to him. I guess he just gassed so bad that his heart stopped. Or some shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Oh dear Jesus, man. <laughs> Between yeah, that, because they said that this dude was freaking 300 pounds, man. <clears throat> and he yep. had to come down to that limit. Like, you know, it, yeah. <laughs> he was wagering. Like, what, 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 was the, what was the heavyweight limit? What, 250 or some shit? 265. 265. He had to come down to 255 and shit. And, like, he obviously didn't do it healthy, man. This dude was gassed. First of all, this well, shouldn't be a heavyweight limit. It should not be a heavyweight limit. Yeah, it's stupid. It makes no sense. We should be as big as they want to be. That's the point of being a heavyweight. Yeah. Well, that's, that, was, that was the crazy thing when they had fucking Brock Lesnar in there and shit. That motherfucker would cut like 20 pounds of fucking water in order to make the <laughs> and enter the ring at, or enter the octagon or whatever at like 290. Yeah, yeah. it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be no weight limit in in, in, in heavyweight. That's <laughs> let them be as big as they want. The fight, the outcome would have changed if the dude was 300 pounds. He still would have gassed. Exactly. I mean, uh, once you get beyond a certain size, I mean, that shit really it probably becomes more of a hindrance than anything for the most part. I understand why they did it, though. Like, because you saw earlier, very, very early on of the UFC just starting, they just putting in, like, insane freak fights. Like, one skinny guy versus a gigantic fat guy. So I understand yeah. why they did it. <laughs> A but, sumo, fight, sumo wrestler versus a fucking judo artist and shit. Yeah, Hoist uh, Gracie, Hoist Gracie submitted that four hundred pound sumo guy. Yep. I remember that shit. He fucking damn near broke his damn arm. <laughs> he always. <laughs> Other dudes like four fifty. I don't know how he did that shit. This. Yeah, but they're trying to be more. "Quote unquote professional now, so yeah, but I mean, even still, I mean, like one of the probably the biggest of all those dudes was like Bob Sapp, but that guy is pretty much famous for mainly getting knocked out most of those most of those big fights. Yeah, he was huge, but he always got knocked out. Yeah, he's, he's like, like the Ryback. Right yeah, so he's basically a right back of UFC. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, MMA, who the fuck is Ryback? Right I don't even know who Ryback right is, but. He's a wrestler, isn't he? Yeah, let's just put it. Yeah, to this Ryback way, man. used to be a, a wrestler in uh, WWE back in the day. Yeah, let's just put it this way, man. I used to watch wrestling back in the day. How how, how long ago was he wrestling? Because I don't remember this dude. Nah, nah he's recent. He's recent, like a couple of years ago. The like thing three, about five it, dude, years ago. Yeah, the thing yeah, about I'm unfortunately sure. with him is that dude just basically was the perfect the picture of a guy on roids in WWE. <laughs> It just gave him the, the best shit available, the best shit possible. Yeah. Yep. The first time I watched wrestling in like the past five years, and I didn't even really watch wrestling. I seen the clip on YouTube was my when my boy Shane O'Mac came back. Oh yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, man. Yeah, I that was, yeah, that was got a, he got a better crowd response. All right, people, wrestling. I'm out, man. All right, All right man. peace. All right, bless. Let it. Where the hell is he at? Over there eating peanuts. This is his hangout. No, I think he's trying to get a nap in. He's trying to get a nap in before we get to watch Crawford Lundy. Yeah. That comes on in like forty-five minutes. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the Seha Ruiz though. I'm gonna skip Verdejo. I'll save that till later. Cause I know Verdejo should really knock that guy out. That guy's a motherfucking Brazilian hairdresser, dude. Like he should no, knock that dude out quick. 
No, that was his last fight. That was a, and and another thing. Why the fuck did they even mention that? Why did they even mention that? That the last the guy for Dago fought. Oh, he's a hairdresser. That's all he does. <laughs> it's the same thing they did to Peter Quillen when Peter Quillen almost killed that hairdresser. Oh damn! Yeah, oh, the hairdresser too. Yeah. <laughs> damn. damn yo, cosmetology school getting these dudes fucked up. Oh man, that was just sad. I'm just like, okay, you you just keep pointing out that the guy that they go fighting ain't really nothing. Well, I mean, that's pretty much the same shit here, though. I mean, yeah, I know, but like, well, they in both times, luckily, they're doing it in the place where there's almost a whole shitload of Puerto Ricans, so they don't care. No, nah, they don't care. They're not gonna research yeah, that guy. That's that's the, the, the way the way he struggled with that dude Nahera, and then Nahera got knocked the fuck out by um. What's that kid's name? I can't think of his name now. Oh, oh I remember that kid. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. Shit, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name now. Anyway, like that—that that just shows you. I mean, what level the day is at? Because I, had I was a, always saying that. I was always saying that Pedraza was a better prospect, but but Pedraza was—I don't think Pedraza beat Edna Cherry in his last fight. Yeah, I no, he no, lost I, that fight. I think Pedraza's food too, man. Yeah, I think Puerto Rico is gonna have a have a have a dry spell. Yeah, I mean they got Mc, they got Mc, they got Mc Joe Arroyo, so maybe uh, if uh, Gonzalez beats McWilliams, he can move up to one fifteen and fight his his uh, twin brother. Ah, uh, I don't count Mc Joe. Mc Joe lost that fight in which he won the belt. Oh, you think so? Yeah, oh, yeah a lot of people do against. It. Isn't yeah. he supposed to rematch that dude though? I haven't. I ha I don't know. I don't know. But I saw that guy and that, and that Filipino guy. He got robbed. Yeah, them in weather. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, in Chocolatito, we want a new way. If he's gonna move up, do a new way. Get that money. Well, the plan is for him to move up to fight. From what I read, for him to move up and fight. What's the Mexican guy? Quadras. Quadras. Yeah. Um. Yes. Later on this yeah, summer. Because they're both taken. Yeah, like August, that. September. If he don't fight Guy or Estrada, I'm not interested in. I ain't interested in. Him. Just and not interested. Also, yeah. Also, the plan is for Anui to fight in the states sometime this year. Yeah, that's that's who they need to bring over, man. Inoue is in that. He's. But he's here's here's the thing, Ben. Here's the thing. While we might, with the WBA basically saying all those guys, all those champions have to fight each other, um, Guy or Estrada may be forced to fight uh, the Japanese guy. Who has oh, to win yeah. the belt? Anoe. Yeah. That's not, a good uh, fight. Not Anoe, but um, Yoka. Ioka, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, fight him. I hope he fights him, and I hope he beats him, and then I hope he gets his rematch. Hey, yeah. he, he should beat him, too. He's a better fighter than Yoka is. Yoka's I think he's the best fighter in the division, in my opinion. Yeah. I think he's gotten much better since the first time they fought. Yeah, because Ben, I think ben, I think it was you, Ben. We, yeah, we had this debate about that first fight, um, and I, I I can't argue that much with you when you when you say that uh, Estrada beat Gonzalez. I think Gonzalez won, but I, I can't make a strong argument because it was that close. Yeah, yeah I mean when I when I, first, when I first watched it, I thought it was pretty much like a draw. So I, I've always been on either side of the argument, regardless of who you know whoever said whoever won. I mean, I can't really argue with. Him. I mean, you can pick and choose that type of fight because it's so tight. Yeah, I mean, even the the commentators. You know, Larry Holmes was on that commentary team. He he was saying that it was pretty much a draw to him. You know, the funny thing about that fight too is it was on the undercard of Valoria versus Marquez, and then they went on yep. to beat down Valoria and Marquez. Yep. Uh, Rival. Shot. He shot. I don't know yeah. about a shot. I mean, he's he he still looked like he could he could do a little something with some of those guys. Well, I mean, with the top guys is what I'm saying. Like as far as those guys, he ain't beating uh, none of them. But if he, he could fight uh, Herman Marquez a thousand times if he wants to, yeah, yeah, his time has passed him by. Well, I mean, even in his prime though, I mean, he 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 got he lost to Sosa, he got upset, and then he he lost to Nino too. Um, since I'm on here with you, Ben, um, Eric Hunter, uh, Lee Selby. We talked about this on my show. It was a split down the middle. Well, no, well, more people were thinking Eric Hunter will beat Selby. What you think, bro? 
I haven't I, seen much of Eric Hunter, but I'm a big Lee Selby fan. I think Lee Selby should be able to outbox him, but I have to watch more Eric Hunter to give you a real opinion on it. Because I, I, I was saying that um, I think Selby will edge him out and have more folks like, nah, um, Hunter's going to beat him. And they're fighting. I'm, I'm assuming they're fighting in Cardiff. So they're going to be uh, fighting in Wales. They're going to be fighting in Wales, I'm assuming, where Lee Selby's from. I think so. So, yeah, I mean, if it's a close fight, you know what Selby's going to get the decision. So, And I think it will be a close fight regardless. I think Selby will get a decision. I'm there. I'm with the. I'm with you on that one too. Yeah. I think it's a fifty-fifty. But all things being equal, you know, tie goes to the hometown. I don't mind that. I want to see Selby fight uh, some other guys. Like I, I, I don't want to see him lose to somebody like Eric Hunter. I want to see him fight some other guys. But he well, said, well he, in a recent interview, he said he he says that he wants to fight in the states again, and he wants to unify. Santa Cruz, most likely, then. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Santa Cruz. Or or, or if uh, Frampton moves up. Or Frampton. He'll be Frampton. He'll be Frampton. Yeah, he's too long for Frampton. He's way too tall and too long for Frampton. Yeah. Frampton, Frampton's a midget. He's only like 5'5". Five five. I mean, that's a good fight, though, because, I mean, the thing is, Selby's not, like, really a big puncher, and then, you know, Frampton, you know, the, I think it's a good style matchup. Like, it'd be a good fight. But the problem is, Selby moves on his feet. Yeah, he can move. Yeah, but Frampton, will, Frampton will have to um, chase him. No, 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 yeah. Use, the cut, use angles to cut off the ring. Yeah, no, and I how, get that. Is how he's going to do that when Selby's putting that stick in his face all all night long? It's going to be hard. He's going he's he's gonna gonna to he's gonna have to try, man. <laughs> he's got to bob and weave and get in there because he got short arms and he's short. He's already like five inches shorter. I mean, you so imagine doing it against Gonzalez, I'm not saying that Gonzalez is on that same level, but. I mean, he at least did it. But shit, Mon I mean, Montiel is a midget too. He figured out a way to get to Selby at certain points. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know some folks who felt Montiel beat, beat Selby that night. I just don't see it. EJ, EJ I, did. I didn't see that, but EJ thought Montiel won. I thought he could have. There's a good chance, yeah. I thought he could have, because, I mean, Montiel was landing some, some nice, like, real flashy shots. You know, some of the, like, he was getting out work, but he was landing the flashy stuff. It wasn't a bad fight. I, I, I didn't think, honestly, when I heard that fight got announced, I was surprised Montiel was still fighting. Well, and see, that's, <laughs> why, that's, why, I like, that's why I was really looking forward to Mars versus Montiel. He was going to be on the Thurman Porter card, but now that's, that's fucked up, so... Man, I, I don't like. I never liked that Mars. He pissed me off when he fought Joseph Becker when he did all them fucking low blows. And got Man, look, he should have been disqualified for that. Hell yeah, he should have got disqualified. That should piss me off. And the rematch is even clean though. That's why when uh fucking uh Johnny Gonzalez put him to sleep, I was so happy. <laughs> oh man, that was that was fun night. I'll give him that. That was a fun night. Hey, Gonzalez had his number, man. That was. That was ugly. Because the thing is, they had sparred before. And Gonzalez, you know, he he knew him, you know, forward and backward. He timed yeah, that hook. Exactly throw that hook. He knew exactly when to throw that hook. Yep. He defended it perfect. Wait a minute. Hadn't the cherry turn Tevin Farmer down? No, Showtime turned it down. Showtime okay. turned it down. Wait, Edna okay, Cherry. I'm gonna say this report is wrong, and what I'm reading on boxing scene. Yeah, cause no, what I what I've read is that Showtime turned it down for the Showbox card, which is kind of dumb. But uh, everybody's complaining about it because it's Showbox. Come on, you're not putting it on Showtime Championship boxing. I know. Who, who was it again, though? Cherry versus who? Shit, let me see. Seven right former. Ah, oh. yeah, that would have been a good scrap. Yeah. Yeah, man, Cherry always brings it, man. He's a good, he's a fun fighter to watch, and you know, against the, I like Farmer. There you go. Let me get off here, guys, so I can get ready to watch this uh, Terrence Crawford match and this Showtime card. Uh, well, right. be, before you leave, Mike, I had to do this to you. I had to do this to you, man, because <laughs> Gail got me on this. Chavez Jr. laughs at Jack's taunt. He's leaving empty-handed. Wait, what? Yeah, Say apparently. Again? All right. Let's see. Chavez Jr. pretty much said, let me look here. He said that 
Bado Jack is going to leave empty handed when they fight for their for their belt. Oh dear. Listen, I have not signed the contract for the fight, and I don't think he has either. But I hope the agreement is finalized soon. And him saying that I'll pay him something if I don't make the weight, I'll tell you this: I'm going not going to fail to make weight, and I'm not going to make pay him anything. He's going to come empty handed because the championship is going to be stay with me. Oh boy! And with that, I think I'm gonna leave because nah, Chavez Jr. I, I you know I have nothing for him, nothing. That's why I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna try to make the show tomorrow evening. I don't know if I'll be home in time, but I'll try to make the show tomorrow evening, Daniel. All right, not a problem, not a problem, man. Yeah. All Thanks. right, I'll see y'all later. Yeah. Y'all be good, yeah. man. You too. You too, man. Oh Jesus. Yeah, half hour away, half hour away from. Yeah, I know what, what EJ's doing, man. Looks like we're the only three left back. Nah, like EJ, like I said, EJ's taking a nap. Like, because, yeah, cause, cause, yeah it's, it's, yeah, it is like about three o'clock in the morning UK. So, yeah. I'm good, man. I'm good. I was just listening, man. There's only you two left. That Umar's gone. There's you guys left, man. Like, hey, the fight's in half an hour, man. Had none the thing, man. I was just letting you guys just ride, bro. You guys, <laughs> carry, you guys is carrying the show well, man, but. Man, I'm just trying to catch up on some of these post videos, man. So you might as well call it a day. Um, yeah, yeah, hey, um, man, I need to come on your thing tomorrow, Daniel. Um, Daniel's got a show tomorrow now. To, uh, he has a show on Sundays, and, and Beast is going to have a show tomorrow as well. So, um, oh, definitely, man. Yeah, just come out. I'm like I said, we're trying to most likely do it from 5 to 7 out here in the East Coast. So that'll be, I think, about from 10 to midnight, your time. Hey. Hey, Nauta, man. Wait, add, Nauta, add Daniel on, on Skype, and then you could jump on his show, man. His show's pretty good, man. Now is pretty knowledgeable, man. Nauta. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, the more people that know, the better, because... Yeah. Cause especially now, because we need UK buys for Frank and Quig, because... I'm reading my Twitter right now. So many people are disappointed. Jesus, yeah, yeah. man. Nauta is the king thing of the little guys as well, man. He, him, him, and, him and Michael, bro, they could talk about the little guys for, for the longest, so... Um, that would be a good look on that, man. But, boy, I'm drained out, man. So, hey, fight fans, I see the people in the chat. Let me see who's in the chat. There's loads of people in the chat right there, man. You guys have been carrying the show. Stuart Gardner. Who else we got over here? we got um, Regular. we got uh, B. Marshall Fett. 333. He's a regular. And um, those of you guys, man. Hey, man, how you guys just talk amongst each other? Sorry to read out some of your comments, man. But you guys, man, also got Del Boy. I was just listening to your video a minute ago, Del Boy. Good stuff. Um, and who else was up in there, man? There's loads of people, man. Yeah, there's loads of you guys, man. Yeah, we've got uh, Carl Frutch. Yeah, thanks for coming over, you guys, man. Um, but, man, I'm drained up, man. It was a fight and a night. Boy, to forget. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fight and a night to forget, man. It's not what it was going to hold up, hold up like that, man. But sometimes the boxing, it happens sometimes. It doesn't live up. But I guarantee Hank Lundy... And Crawford will be more excited, and so will probably Frank, um, Santa Cruz, and Martinez probably be better than that, man. But all right, then I'm gonna go, man. So from EJ Boxing Live, from Nauta TV, make sure you check out his channel. Check out uh, Daniel's uh, Daniel's podcast as well. Michael Pound Pound Boxing Report, uh, Ben Umar the Boxing Terrorist. Who was it? Boxing Beast and Ram. Check out his hangout tomorrow. Um, Natty Turner, he's got a great channel as well. And who else came over? I think that was it. Uh, oh yeah, Michael from Power Fan Boxing Report. Check out his channel. Uh, we'll catch you another one. Peace. Bye. Peace, man. See ya.